and welcome back to the Disney Plus Thanksgiving's Day Parade, a showcase and celebration of some of the great content we've seen on Disney Plus. I'm Brad Ingold. And I'm Chet Parker. And we're here just getting started with some of the fun planned today by Disney. Well, that's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, kill me. Speaking of fun, here comes someone who probably knows that this is the way to Times Square. It's Din Djarin, Grogu, in the cast of The Mandalorian. Ah, yes, The Mandalorian, the show that put Disney Plus on the map, then subsequently burned that map in effigy by switching out the lead with Katie Sackhoff and cramming in more cringy cameo celebrities in a 2008 episode of Saturday Night Live. Say, Brad, what is that large device that Din is riding on? A speeder? A miniature YT fighter? No, Chet, that's a giant telephone. Likely the same one Pedro Pascal uses to phone in his performances from the set of HBO's The Last of Us. May the force be with you guys. You know what, Brad? I think it's time for you to grow up. I don't wanna. Well, you'll be right at home with this next arrival. It's the Peter Pan and Wendy float. Look at all those dancing lost boys. Uh, girls? They say hey, Chet, I, I see Wendy, but I, I don't see Peter Pan anywhere. Oh, he's not there, Brad. Like the Disney Plus movie, the Peter Pan and Wendy float only uses the name Peter Pan for branding and name recognition. You need to get that built-in audience. Who the hell would waste their time watching either without it? What about legit objections that this is nothing more than a bait and switch? I'd say look over there, they got a black Tinkerbell. You got any more criticisms, you racist, bigoted monster? Say no more. Now here's the float I'm green with envy not to be on. It's the She-Hulk float. Say, why weren't you allowed on that float, Brad? It's because I'm a white male, Chet. And any white male standing within two feet of any woman nowadays is either a murderer, a sex offender, or a murdering sex offender who has suffered in life infinitely less than any member of the female species. Is that why you got divorced? Yes, Chet. Yes, it was. Look what's coming this way. It's Willow. You remember Willow, right? <laughs> nope. Neither do I. Moving on. The savior of Star Wars is marching right here down Main Street. Dave Filoni's Ahsoka. I'm legally obligated to say Dave Filoni's Ahsoka or face litigation from Kathleen Kennedy. Watch out for those spinning space whales down there, kids. Say, Brad, who is that man she is arm in arm with in the blue shirt and black slacks? Grand Admiral Thrawn? No, that's comedian Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld? What's he doing there? You see, Ahsoka and Seinfeld share something special in common. Both of their shows are about absolutely nothing. <laughs> Ouch. Coming up after the break, we get to gaze upon the Disney Plus Float's theme for shows in the new year. Echo, Ironheart, Daredevil Born Again, and Agatha Harkness. What's that? What? Uh, we're never going to see those? Really? This is the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. They gobble down movies. They gobble up TV. They have just sent me a message not to use the word gobble because their collective insecure masculinity doesn't like the perceived connotation the word gobble may portray. I'm your announcer Julie. And as mean and disrespectful as you may think I'm to the guys on this show, know that it could be worse. I could be Jada Pinkett Smith. Here are your hosts. Matthew Stewart, DJ Valentine, and Justin Polizzi. Hey kids, this is the November edition of the Simplicity Views Podcast. For show purposes, I'm DJ Valentine. I'm joined by two guys who promised me the word giblet wasn't a racial slur. Matthew Stewart. And Justin Pelizzi. Hi, guys. Oh, you giblet. You oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Giblet. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. You are the... I've met a lot of giblets in my, in my time, day. You fucking take you the dirty cake. Giblet. <laughs> you dirty giblet. What is a giblet, anyway? What the fuck is it? It's uh, like the, the alternate the word for vagina. Oh, well. Yeah. And my face. Like a, like, a, like a jigger. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. A jigger. Uh, well. you know Urban jigger dictionary. Is. Do you want me to read it? Naggers. <laughs> it's pronounced <laughs> well, that are annoying jib, to me. lit, jib. Yes. Jib, lit. and um, I'll give you some examples. Go, go ahead. Mary had a hairy, oozing Ooh. giblet. Ooh, <laughs> so I refuse to go down on out. her. 
man, he's got to clean that thing up. And thing fucking up, hell, I'm not going to touch that gibbet again. <laughs> Gib it again. again? He went there don't before? He don't touch there that in? giblet again. Uh, that was added giblet. on September 7th, 2006, by the way. Oh, this is a new oh. word, a new a new connotation. Giblet. I, I like it. A giblet, all right. Giblet. So ladies Turn out there, I want you to... Vagina. I prefer mm -hmm. vagina. I like vagina seems a little bit more cleaner, a little more it's classy. Yeah, yeah, it's like nobody, nobody like. Are you are you going down like, on the hey giblet? Hey, big boy, you want to see my giblet? Like, oh, I see no. my giblet. <laughs> Get away from me! I gotta work. Yeah, I gotta no. leave work early. I got a giblet at home. I gotta, uh, I gotta put I gotta, that to work. I got a giblet with my name on it. Got my my false hand stuck in her giblet. It's, it's weird. <laughs> Anyone seen my ring that I went missing the other day? <laughs> I was hanging out with a giblet. <laughs> It was my pinky I'm, ring. I'm transitioning. I want a giblet instead of a penis, please. Could you? Uh, Don't we that? all? <laughs> we all want that warm, oozing giblet. That warm, oozing giblet. <laughs> God, that's so gross. It makes me feel that's gross. That's gross, man. That's mm. nasty. Please, Action item. Said, find the Harry giblet. Oozing giblet. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. The hairy oozing giblet. Should I ask the uh, chat what, the, yeah. uh, what that means? Uh, Chat, ask yeah. Chat GBT Chat. live on air, Justin. What a, what is yeah. a what, what is giblet? Yeah, we're we're doing what a test here. Is we're a, we're making sure AI we're, of all forms is not our, going uh, to destroy over, us. Overload. We overload. just saw the creator, so we're kind of a little paranoid here. So let's make yeah. sure that no, none of these things are going to like rise up and destroy us. Any chats in the area? PT says I am away. not aware of that term in the English language. It may be a regional or slang word, or it could be a typo or less commonly used. Hmm. I mean, I think it's playing. It, I think it it's playing dumb. <laughs> playing dumb. I, I think, think it knows. I think it's playing dumb. I think the AI is being coy. I've never heard of that word. I've never heard wink, of it. Wink, 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 wink. <laughs> no, no, no. I never put my hand in a hairy giblet. Oh, what? Not at all. Did I say well, that. I don't even know what a giblet is. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we're helping the AI learn today. Oh, it's a, it is a learning computer. You know, it's like in 2023, the man introduces the word giblet. Giblet, giblet. Skynet is born by some <laughs> random Skynet podcast. Is born. Giblet. <laughs> <laughs> the Giblet 2000. Giblet 2000. <laughs> giblet Genesis. <laughs> like even more advanced than you. Like, yes, it's glistening and hairy. <laughs> oh, a giblet of an exoskeleton. And oozing. <laughs> oozing. It's a thinking giblet. I only know the secret of the ooze. That's a yeah. <laughs> TGRI. I was, you know what? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be dead ass. This is a hot take. You guys ready for this hot take? You ready for this? Oh, hot God. Here we go. So you're gonna that use. Tur Turtles Two is better than Turtles One. I hate Turtles Two. I oh. hate that movie. I think, I, why? You're not a, you're not why a do minority. I hate that movie? Because it's like a oh. bait and switch. It's like, hey, you want Bebop and Rocksteady? Fuck you. you get hey, you want a Super Shredder fight? Fuck you. Hey, you want like uh, the, the hey, you want, Le you want Leonardo to use his swords? Guess what? He never takes him out. Ever, ever in the entire movie, <laughs> they are glued to his back. He might as well be sticks. And we're gonna change the look of the turtles hey, and like the April voice. April O'Neil, no, nope, not anymore. Different she, April O'Neil. Different April O'Neil. It's like a big, it's like a big fucking bait and switch. It's like nah, nah, nah. You don't like that anymore. We're gonna give you new shit. Yeah, we're gonna give you these ain't your daddy's turtles. Like, what are you talking about? This movie just came, the other movie just came out a year ago. <laughs> it came out like a year ago. What are you talking about? Do I have a new dad already? I've never seen the third one. Turtles in Time. Should we do that as a commentary? Turtles in Time. It's a rough movie. Well, oh, it's not, I well, it's not even called Turtles in Time. I think people just call it Turtles in Time. But what it's is just it called? It's, it's just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three. That's, That's it. it. That's it. What the fuck? I keep hearing people Turtles. just Turtles. people just call it Turtles in Time because it came out right around that era when Did Turtles. People in time, invent a better tagline for a movie that didn't have a tagline. Yeah, I think it's the Mandala effect. I did hear that uh, Keanu Reeves is the reason why the movie's called John Wick. The real name was Scorn, and he kept calling it John Wick, and it just changed the title. It was Which called just, Scorn? He, it was the original name for the John Wick franchise was called Scorn. Oh, that's and he kept telling Keanu Reeves kept telling people, yeah, I'm in this movie called John Wick, and the producer was like, that's a better <laughs> it's title. It's called Scorn. <laughs> I don't know, Scorn sounds like some kind of like, Scorn you know, sounds like I've been Scorn. I've been Scorn. Yeah, it's like, like a scorn. woman movie. Like a, like, no, what's, what's the phrase? Uh... uh Something, something, woman scorned, isn't yeah, that the... a, a woman scorned or a scorned lover or whatever? Yeah, 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 that's a lover, that's a jilted lover. I don't know. Scorn sounds like a horror movie, it sounds like you know, scorn, Venom, from scorn, King, scorn. Yes. yeah, it sounds thinner, <laughs> scorn, one word names, yeah, but it was never called Turtles in Time, it was always called just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3. And that three, right? Yeah, yeah I remember. 
I remember they were in the samurai outfits. I could have yeah, they, they it was called Turtles in Time. No, where did they come no. from? Turtles in Time is a video game. It's a video game, but it That's came out right around game. the same time. It was like I think because Turtles Three came out like in '93, I want to say, but Turtles in Time came out like also right around '93. How the suits get worse over time? That's weird. It's just cheap the right. budget. Yeah, I think Jim Jim Henson's company was like, yeah, we're not working on this anymore. <laughs> fuck you guys, we're going yeah. home. <laughs> it's like we're fuck you, we're going home. <laughs> Jim's dead. Jim's dead. <laughs> the suit the suits died with we're him. We're going home. <laughs> we're going home. You guys can make your own fucking suits at make home. Your own fucking turtles. <laughs> make your own fucking turtle suits. I got a website for you. What's a website? Like, you'll know one day. <laughs> you'll know one day. <laughs> Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? It's the segment that'll have you burying your head in the sand. It's Can You Dig It? Can You Dig It? This is the segment where I uh, go over some uh, Hollywood stuff. <laughs> if uh, Hollywood still Hollywood even exists stuff. at the top of this reporting. I and, think they're uh, getting back into the swing of things. Mm, we'll see. Well, at least <laughs> maybe one part of it is. I don't know. Oh, swinging it. something. It's, uh, swinging yeah. some dicks. Some swinging dicks, dicks. Dick swinging. <laughs> dick swinging. Dude, these uh, dick swingings. First thing I got here is a live action gargoyle series. Can you dig it? I heard about that. <laughs> uh, I think we're probably all big fans of the uh, TV series. Yeah, Will Riker was on the gargoyle show. But yeah, I what, well, just don't main, realize uh, why that's being brought that? back. He's the bad guy. Uh, Will Riker, uh, what's his name um, from? Um, well, Will, Will Riker from what? Fuck. From Star Enterprise. Uh, Je- uh, fuck. Deep Space Next, Gener- Next, Next Generation. TNG. Sorry. Oh, okay. My brain TNG. froze. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. TNG, yeah. All right. But Frank uh, Frank Walker was in, he did a voice in that movie. He's the, he's the, he's the human, Will. The he, looks human. Like, he looks like he looks like the character. Walker? Oh, no, okay. no, 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 no. Um, the guy who plays Will Riker. Like, why, not, why am I blanking on the word? I don't know guy? what his name is. Oh, I never. Me. I don't watch TNG. Well, Jonathan Franks. Is Jonathan right Frakes. Thank Jonathan you very Franks. much. Jonathan Frakes. Frakes, not Franks. Frakes. Uh, Jonathan no, Frakes. Frakes. Yeah, he yeah. plays the, the 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 human in the Gargoyle show. He plays show David. There. Yes. Yes. And then Keith David. Yeah, he's, he's, David, Goliath. Okay. he's Goliath. He's Goliath. He's okay. Goliath. I remember that one. Is he yeah, going to yeah, be yeah. coming back for? No, no. it's live action. Is I'm sure by Disney. Yeah, it is, it's a Disney. It's going to be on oh, Disney no, Plus, no. I think. Yeah. Goliath's going to be a girl. <laughs> no, they'll, they'll, gen, they'll gender swap it. Yeah. They'll gender swap everything. everything gonna what be... if you be a gargoyle? Well, you can't do that. If you, if you have a female gargoyle, people would get up in arms about it. Like, there is a female gargoyle. A female gargoyle. I remember a female gargoyle. No, but they'll gender swap that. I mean, it'd be like a male. You want to make it a boy? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably going to be Chris Pratt. Yeah. 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 Doing, <laughs> doing a gargoyle impression. Yeah. <laughs> I sound like a gargoyle. This sounds very expensive, by the way. Now we're just talking about I Jim. I don't understand. Like, hey, you know what else was really from? expensive that disappeared? Willow. Mm. <laughs> Remember Willow guys? Remember Willow? <laughs> I really thought Remember? we'd get a Street Sharks movie before we got a uh, gargoyle. I know. You no, still hold off for Street Sharks, huh? And my day will come. <laughs> the street Sharks will rise. They are rise. Rise. I laugh what I want. <laughs> I want an Earthworm Jim over the gargoyles. I, I watched well, them. They had the they had the cartoon. So I, I love the cartoon. The cartoon, the cartoon was, great. was on Earthworm Jim. It's yeah, really man. groovy. Or guy. Bucky O'Hare or Exo Squad. Those are better than gargoyles for me. I, I know people love gargoyles. I like watching. I was like, yeah, this is all right. I want a live action uh, Johnny Quest. Can't do that, man. It's racist. Well, the one character it's racist. <laughs> Haji, man, you can't do that no more. No, I just change his that. name. Huh? Just change his name. I think change his name. The most yeah, racist thing about, about Haji is the fact his name is Haji. Dude, you could do a really badass Johnny Quest if you didn't give a fuck about the PC world we live in now. You could well, do a badass okay, one. Just make him an Indian guy without the turban. It's not gonna happen, bro. Johnny Quest well, would be the Indian guy. To answer your question, <laughs> you go. fucking I I can flip everything. It. You can dig it. No, I think uh, I can uh, dig it. I know. I know Justin's Star a gargoyle Wars? guy. Yeah, he's I'll, a gargoyle I'll, ex- guy. I'll explain why go later. Oh, okay. Oh, later. Well, later. When we get to TV. Okay, okay, a- okay. Uh, action plan. Explain gargoyles later. Explain <laughs> action plan number two. Action uh, plan next number, one. That's um, like action plan number four. Four, maybe whatever. Uh, next one <laughs> uh, can't, that you can dig. Uh, well, new Willy Wonka trailer, the second one that came out. I don't know if you guys. I know. actually I cannot dig this. <laughs> I kind, I, I kind of do almost. What? What I, do you dig? 
what I like uh dare you dig, sir. I like Hugh Hugh Grant. He looks funny. Hugh Grant he looks is terrible. Like, <laughs> is this, it, it is this, this, is this Matt so... being mad right now? Or yeah, this is he's madding us. He's madding us right now. Because it looked absolutely terrible. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a yeah, that, <laughs> this might be the worst casting I've seen in a, anything in a very it, it long make, time. It doesn't make any sense, and, I'm, and you know, but this movie's going to make probably a lot of money. Oh yeah, it will. It will. Um, I don't think it's. But I, think I it's like the bomb. fact it's that a bomb. I like that Chalamet is going is like going for it. He's he going. He's not going for it. He literally sounds nothing or acts nothing. Like Johnny Depp was better in this role, and that takes no, a Johnny lot Depp for me was to like, say. Johnny Depp was annoying. This, this is annoying. What's Chalamet that. doing? That's a, that's that's amazing to know. you. In this trailer, he's doing nothing. He's generic Tom Timothy Chalamet. Might as well it's, be a guy. There's something about Will the movie. Wonka. I, I like the fact that the first trailer Will came Wonka. out. The, the the first trailer was making like super sentimental. Yes. And then the first half of this trailer, they were making like wacky wackiness. You know Crazy. who would be a better character other than the guy from the Bear as Willy Wonka, who's in this movie. Mr. Bean, <laughs> he'd make a better yeah, Willy Mr. Wonka. Than fucking, in it. He'd be a yeah. fantastic with a Willy Wonka. Yeah, Timothy Chalamet f- is just—he's just playing Timothy Chalamet like, with a hat. I like, I like, I like Keegan Michael Key is playing like the. Oh yeah, he's doing the Brooklyn act, he, guy he's in like London. Brooklyn, apparently. he's like yeah, he's a Brooklyn guy. He's like, hey yo, I'm gonna give you a knock on. It's like the hey yo, yo, I'm a Bobby over here. Yeah, I'm a Bobby. I'm gonna fuck you up over here. It's like, it's like maybe he thought it was like in Soho. Like New York, instead of how are, you a gov- how are you a government agent and you are clearly from Brooklyn? I don't, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> maybe I don't like this movie, but it, it, it's it's so fucking stupid. Really, that mm-hmm. I have to I have to like stand in. Is awe this is of- this commentary stupid? Are we gonna do? So- is this? Is this- I don't no, know. Because, I, I, I it's think it might not- be that boring. I think it's gonna it, be fucking yeah. boring. Yeah, I think it might be boring too. It, it it just it's just so miscast. I just the guy from the Bear is literally the spitting image of Gene Wilder. And he's a better actor. Maybe he knew something. Maybe he was like, mm, I don't that know. Bring struck up. You could have probably, you could have probably done something with this. Now Maybe. the Hugh Grant, Hugh Oompa Loompa thing. It's, it's so stupid. It's, it's so like dumb. uncanny. It's like uncanny Valley bad. Yeah, I mean, I get what they're trying to do where, you know, you got the posh British guy as the Oompa Loompa. I, I, I get it. I never thought I would want to see Hugh Grant as an Oompa Loompa, but then I see it. I'm because like, this is the Paddington director like, and he's like, like friends I'm with like, that guy. So. I know, but. I feel I, I like this sec, I like this like late stage acting career of Hugh Grant playing. He does. He seems like he doesn't give a shit characters. anymore, right? Like, yeah, he's just I'm like, doing really, shit now. I liked Hugh Grant in that Dungeons and Dragons movie. That he's fantastic in the Gentleman. I like he's that. Really uh, yeah. good in the uh, the Dungeons and Dragons movie. Yeah, and then he's in this. Oh, he's great, but yeah, this man. is not. This, this is not. This great, is called though. a paycheck. Yeah. I, know, I like you. I like you. I like you. I like Hugh Grant when he was banging hookers in his car. Oh yeah, he, 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 Jay Leno uh, told him to apologize, and he did. I know because that's all fucking Jay Leno would talk about <laughs> for like a decade. A decade. Let's say he, he, he rode the coattails of Hugh Grant. And he was like <laughs> Judge his, Ito for about fifteen years. Yeah, it was like Judge Ito, <laughs> then Hugh Grant, and then he fucked off. And, and he fucked like, over Conan like, O'Brien. All right, next one. Uh, <laughs> Halloween turning into a series, TV series apparently. Can you dig it? Um, I would have dug it. I would have dug it if, if they it didn't was kill hey. off the character from Halloween Kills. Again, I've yet. I've not seen the newest one. I saw the last. The Evil Dice of Night was the last one I saw. That's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween is. Kills is. I'm a, I'm a, I'm an apologist for that movie. I think that movie was pretty funny. Fucking, it has it has fans. I I don't. That know. movie was good for like ninety percent, mm. and then the last ten ten percent is like, fucking shit the bed. <laughs> yeah, it it does. It is the TV show based upon that series. I see. It's funny. You would think they might go. The they might go anthology with this. Uh, I don't know what they're gonna do with it. They just, they just said they're working on it. It's probably gonna be the same. I know the it. rights went up and. Uh, A twenty four was trying to purchase it, and Ooh. then well, who just got it? Dimension got it, right? I don't remember. I don't remember. So, I there, saw it. Was, it, but... it was up for yeah. It was like isn't one, Dimension uh, Warner? Is that Warner? Dimension? It was either Dimension or Miramax. I think it was Miramax, Miramax is Disney. Back. That's not good if it's in Miramax. That's Disney, buddy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Disney I forgot who it was, but it was up for it was up for like um, sale, but and then mm. one studio claimed the rights or has the rights back. I don't know if it's Miramax or if it's. Uh, it wasn't A24. I guess A24 was maybe in the uh, running and everything like that. But it's either Miramax or Dimension that maybe got it. So I don't know. I think. I was going to try looking know. it up. It could be. 
Ask a, ask AI. <laughs> Here's the thing. I rather like it, it, when I was younger, I was kind of like angry, like, you know, give, I, I don't like Season of the Witch. And now I love Season of the Witch. Yeah, if it was something like a different kind of weird, almost like a Tales of the Cryptian thing set on Halloween, because but I know they're not going to do that. They're going to do Michael Myers stuff. Michael Myers, Michael Myers, because he's the well, I mean, he's the it, brand. He's the the logo. He's the you know the thing. So he was barely in the last movie. Yeah, <laughs> and that's what why do you do the, with him. And that's why the movie was so good because there so wasn't says, a lot of Michael. Miramax <laughs> got the rights. Miramax. Oh, that's Disney they, they man. Ooh, that's bad news, buddy. Bad news. <laughs> Not looking good. Not looking good for you, Michael. <laughs> I can't dig that. Nope. <laughs> Michael, meet Mickey. Yeah. <laughs> You're fucked. Like, Michael Mouse. <laughs> uh, oh, next one. Michael Mouse. <laughs> uh, next one. Um, <laughs> as I laugh at it, uh, <laughs> Daredevil writers all fired. This sounds what weird. after filming eight episodes of the series, <laughs> they were all fired. All this sounds yeah, they, like a, it they, sounds they like a bat girl, a bat was it that bad? Again. Apparently, yes, yeah. They won them, they, they tried they to, try to kill she, it, they were trying to do a She Hulk with it and make it a uh, a, a lawyer drama. Foggy Nelson and uh, what's her name, Ka- Karen Page, were killed off yeah. screen before the show. He's not in the Daredevil. This is what the, the original, what they filmed so far that they're probably. Pretty much abandoned. Is that what they filmed, or just they that's what they filmed? That, that's what they filmed originally. So how are they uh, gonna? Are they gonna rehire Foggy and Karen Page? I don't know what. Like, the, I, hey, by right, the way, you're back in the show. It's like, hold on, you killed us <laughs> off. No, here's a, here's the thing. Uh, the show was put on hold indefinitely, so I think this might be back to the lab from the beginning. But they ah. filmed stuff. So what, I don't eight episodes. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, like they, they, they filmed he was quite a bit. They filmed some stuff. They filmed this. They filmed the season. Yeah, they say he doesn't wear the suit until like the fourth episode, and a whole bunch of like bad decisions on bad decisions. Oh, so riveting! Yeah, man, I I can't dig, baby. (laughs) You know what? I kind of dig this. You want to know why? I I need it to burn. I need it to burn for them to fix it. The only way you fix this is to burn it all. David Zaslav might have had. I guess it doesn't need to actually be a thing. Yeah, I mean, because. We're coming off good Kingpin and good Daredevil. Don't give yeah. me bad Kingpin and bad Daredevil. <laughs> Don't do that. Even though it's the same actors, it's like fucked up. It's did like, you see Hawkeye? Uh, did yeah, you, I, I, did I, I did it. Did I did you it. Experience that? Did, did you it? experience Hawkeye when they I did too much experience what Disney's doing? Yeah, I didn't mind. I didn't <laughs> mind more Hawkeye. I, I minded what they did to the Kingpin, <laughs> which oh, was yeah, they, yeah, they, they turned a scary yeah. character into a clown in like five yeah, fucking minutes. Like, yeah, they cut his nuts <laughs> off. You know, it's cut his fucking the whole nuts point, off. Point, man. You do you remember the, the the Netflix Daredevil where he was yeah. terrifying? Yeah, he was, he was uh, killing people times. with a car door. Spoiler alert: he he uh, kills that reporter in his fucking house. That scared yeah. the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah. And now he's getting uh, bitch slapped by Karen, uh, Katie, Katie Bishop. Kate, uh, Kate, 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 Kate Bishop. Bishop. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, and I love Haley Steinfeld, but that, that's not a fight you should never, ever win. <laughs> ever, yeah, ever, ever. Be able, you shouldn't be able to defeat Kingpin like that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Silent Night trailer by John <laughs> Woo. Can you dig this? What was the last John Woo movie? I remember. think this is the first movie he's done in 20 years, they said, or so, or 10 years, 15 wow. years, something like that. I think it's Wind Talkers. I think it's that. Oh, yeah, he did do Wind Talkers. Didn't I he? could be wrong, though. I, 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 I'm, I'm, when was Mission he probably, Impossible 2? He probably did two? something back. He probably did some stuff back in China. When was Mission Impossible 2? 98. And when was Wind Talkers? 97 or 98. Wind Talkers was like 2000. So it, must, it might be Wind Talkers. The last John, John Wu, who was like. Incorrect. Was, Wind what? Talkers was the last one? No. No, no. Uh, I mean, he probably made some stuff back home. I think it's his first American he's, film, is what they said. He's, he did a couple yeah, he's made, he's made, he's had projects. Yeah. Right. He had a project yeah. in 2017. What was that? Was that a, a uh, Manhunt? Combo? It's called Manhunt. Hmm. Manhunt, uh, 2017. Yeah, I mean, it looks of his homeland. Right, yes. right, right. Then he right. did the Crossing Two. Which is of his homeland. Uh-huh. The crossing was in 2014. Uh-huh. Uh, definitely homeland. He went, he went uh-huh. back home. And maybe so he did a lot home. of movies. What's right his now? last American film? That's what you got to look for. What's his Wind last Talkers. one that we remember released in America? I think it's Wind Talkers, bro. I think Wind Talkers sure. was like 
Because I think Wind Talkers is like 04 or 03. Yeah. Mm. Because if that's the know. case, that's probably, I know they were talking about this is the first time he's he done something. He did a thing called, a drama called All the Invisible Children. And mm. it, it's it got. Uh, Kids, for any uh, uh, preface here, John question. Woo. In in my childhood, 2003 might be the last. Oh, paycheck, paycheck with Brit Ben Affleck, right? Oh, two, oh, two. So I think it's paycheck. Holy shit! I remember paycheck. Paycheck is what broke him. Broke him. Broke. He was like, he's like, I'm getting the fuck out of. I gotta get out of here. I don't know about you. I gotta go. (laughs) But no, John Woo. To to the people who don't know, was like the action director of his of the 90s essentially he was like the tippity top he, he, he was, was with everyone 80s. he like they, late 80s yeah like the people who were making john wick he was like the john wick yeah. guys of his time he was the david john Leach, wick. chad St- stahelski so we're Gareth correct evans yeah it it is the first film american feature he has done since 2003's paycheck Listen. Jesus, yeah, so 20, twenty. So like a twenty-year anniversary. Yeah, yeah, man. So yeah, I mean, it looks it, entertaining. I'll, I'll say I dig fun. it, and mm-hmm. uh, the the yeah. idea that there's no there was no actual dialogue in that whole entire. Trailer. He doesn't talk. Kinnaman doesn't yeah. has like a voice fucked up or something. I mean, he I might talk in the beginning. Shot in the in the yeah, trailer, before yeah. he gets shot. But uh, do, do you have a problem with it looking exactly like the setup for Face Off? <laughs> no, you know what it no, looked like. You like reminded me of the Robocop make remake. The which one? The Robocop make uh, remake. Oh, yeah. why him. did you? It's just Kinnaman. It's just Kinnaman. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta let Kinnaman it go. We gotta face. let it go. No, nah, just like the scene of him, like he's at his house and then he gets like blown up. Yeah. And then they, there's like a shot of him on the bed going, I'm like, why is Kinnaman all, all of his movies? He's rushed to the hospital. Yeah, he's always got a problem. <laughs> he's got a good hospital face. Yeah, he's got a good hospital <laughs> face. He was great in the Suicide Squad. He was he really was, good. In that yeah, movie. it was great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. We need more of that Joel Kinnaman, not give me, Robo Give me more of sui- the Suicide Squad Joel Kinnaman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give, give us more of that, not Robo Kinnaman. I, I think this might be one we do. I might put this out there as a Christmas treat. This it's Silent Christmas night, movie, dude, with action. How can you yeah, not man, like? I, I, I want to see this, man. I want to see this. This might be one of those entertaining... And, and Matthew, you could have a field day with the bets on this one. The, the doves, oh, yeah. you, you I mean, go I, crazy I, with I don't even know where to start. <laughs> double-handed guns, you can go crazy with this. Yeah, it looks fun. It looks, yeah. it looks really like fun. Like double-handed guns, how many actual I'm down. I got dialogue. To look forward to. Yeah. Yeah. You know, how, how many, many face tattoos? How many face comes off? How many face how offs many there are? How many face offs there are? How many? How many uh, Mexican how many paychecks? Yeah. How many paychecks? Yeah. How many paychecks? Slow, yeah, how many paychecks? I want my pay target check. <laughs> my paycheck. The checks uh, in the mail. <laughs> Check is in the mail. Uh, next one, uh, Blumhouse Spawn. Uh, I mean, <sighs> why not? I'm, I don't. I love. I think I'm the only guy on the show like who Spawn likes Spawn. I not was a the big movie, fan of Spawn back in the day. Not, I like the comic book. Like the comic the books. books. I love the comic. I still collect the comic books. The look and cool. everything. Yeah, yeah. It was really what cool. Was the violence was always. Hey, I enjoyed good. the movie Characters as a kid cool. back in the day. You know, yeah. Who, who back in the day, I was like, I. I like the I, animated thing on HBO. That was really good. The animated, yeah. the animated on sure. HBO with Keith fucking David is fucking, fucking David again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Keith I just watched something about Mary yes last night. Keith fucking Keith David. Fucking David. Yeah. How did you get the How did you get the beans about the prank? How did you get the beans about the prank? <laughs> <laughs> I don't best. know. I mean, uh, I have my problems with blumhouse in general but whatever yeah well are i don't you talking get about how... the recent uh the recent uh was uh was the exorcist uh wasn't that blumhouse? Well, what even, happened I with even, that i didn't even watch it Everybody it's, it, it's, it's it's a train wreck <laughs> i just saw the one clip about like the, the mother the priest the priest didn't let me in because of the patriarchy i'm like oh boy <laughs> oh here we go you know yeah. they're dead right you, you know they died for you for to save your daughter right <laughs> And you fuck them. I don't know. It's like that shit is so stop. Just make a fucking scary movie instead of trying to fucking come up with something. All this other bullshit come up going on. The thing that know? worries me about Blumhouse's spawn is that spawn is very expensive. As we witnessed yeah. from the last spawn movie. Uh yeah, it doesn't seem like they would do that, right? Yeah, it seems like it'd be very hard to do spawn I think right. You could probably make it in Cheap. a modest you you would have to spend probably at least budget wise. The like suit movie. itself is gonna be expensive as fuck. It's it has to be at least a fifty five to sixty million dollar movie. It's Blumhouse. That's, they, that's like the the bear that's like the the borderline for a fucking know, but they, Blumhouse they make, budgets. They make a lot they make a lot of 
money on their movies, but they're always modest. But yeah, that, that's their are there, model. Are there like enough people who fucking care 80, about you know? Spawn anymore? Yeah, I mean, Tommy Farland is involved in this, but he is. I mean, I'll I'll watch it. I mean, if it looks good, I'll go see it at the theater. I mean, it's a movie I've been waiting for for. Probably... Who are you casting as Spawn? <sighs> Mike, is, is 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 your boy coming back, Michael Jai White? That would be fucking nah, awesome. Keep David. I mean, if they give me Keith David voice to spawn, David I'm in. The voice. I'll Here's take what it. You do. Maybe you, you you do some like uh like uh flips on like the like Cogliostro. You should ca- cast Michael J. White as Cogliostro. Ooh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. But then who's like a who's like a young up and comer who could be like young young Jonathan Alfred. Major. Oh, oh, sorry, I I sorry, I'm, so I, close. I, he just needs to get acquitted. Uh, what what? Everything will be fine again. <laughs> That's why Disney's waiting on them. Disney's waiting, Disney's They're like waiting in the for starting the... blocks, like, huh? Yeah, it's like, uh? hold on. It's like, no, don't go yet. No, wait, 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 wait. We, we, can't, pull, we can't pull the trigger yet. Wait, it's like, wait, wait, wait. Guilty and uh, guilty. innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> They're waiting on. They're Just waiting hanging. on. John. Just They're hanging. waiting on Jonathan Majors. They're like, God, I hope. <laughs> It's like, what, like it's like uh, right at the end of Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. I hope. I hope. Yeah. I hope. I, I just want to see my friend again. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan Majors was here. Jonathan Majors was here. <laughs> you goddamn right. <laughs> Majors was here. <laughs> They're just waiting for him. They're just. It's like, oh come get on. Busy, get busy living and get busy dying. <laughs> oh yeah. God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> next one. <laughs> uh, Mission Impossible delayed a year, and with a new title, by the way. Yeah, so oh, it's changing not, it's, title. They're changing so the, de- the subtitle apparently. So it's not Dead Reckoning Part. It's not two. Dead Reckoning Part Two, which is weird because the last Dead Reckoning says Dead Reckoning Part One. So I guess we're never gonna get Part Two. <laughs> I guess yeah, you're never gonna get the sequel. <laughs> You'll never see Dead Reckoning Part Two ever. <laughs> yeah. Dead Reckoning is dead. Damn, It'd be like in sucks. ten years they'll make Dead Reckoning Part Two. It's like well, it doesn't Tom Cruise like is that. retired. <laughs> Was this one of the lower? Money making. This Sound is, of Freedom killed this movie. Killed Mission Impossible. It took a lot of its money out. That's so weird, man. Yeah. If, if Sound of Freedom didn't exist, it would have probably made it close to. It would have made Oppenheimer money. But Sound of Freedom made so much money. And those those pizza at that time, it took a man. lot of it away pizza from it, yeah. Then it turns out the guy that the uh, whole movie is based upon is actual creep and kid yeah, actual. Exactly. Yeah, yep. so, yeah, he was. He, he yep. was uh, <laughs> Hey, don't say that. Don't get don't uh, don't don't get the army after you. They'll, they'll kind of, uh, that's okay. Hey, AI. Uh, <laughs> I know a action, guy. Action plan five. Find man from Sound of Free. <laughs> Where is the creators? AI is like working on it. Working on it. <laughs> if anyone doesn't working. know why we keep saying action plan, uh, a little uh, podcast context. Um, yeah. We it's have an, an AI companion that has now infiltrated our recording session. And it ain't Julie. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't her. And boy, somebody does it we follow uh, along to what yeah. we're saying. And yeah. uh, it's asking about action items. So we're giving it action. Oh, we're, you yeah, want we're action items, motherfucker? We're going to give you the Action items. Getting action items. We have tons of action items. You you will get a full transcript after this podcast of what. Like, <laughs> actually, I think you might. You might get one. I might actually point that out and put it on the. Fast forward to the end. You will get your entire transcript of the podcast. You could you could you could read our podcast now. I got a pop up just now. Is it still recording us? It's still recording yeah. us. Okay, let's make it sure because it's even like, when it's it's like not, hey, motherfucker, I'm it's listening not to recording. you. Even when it's not, it is. I'm watching God, you. Jesus. Don't fuck with me. Uh, next one, uh, <laughs> Beekeeper trailer. Are we doing this movie? Are we doing this movie too? I forgot. Oh yeah, we talked about this like Are last we year. Tra- <laughs> Is this on the queue? <laughs> I wish you. Oh god, it looks ridiculous. It does. <laughs> it's Jason Statham as a beekeeper. But the one man's says, brutal campaign for do, vengeance do, takes do on the want- national st- stakes do, after it's revealed he's former <laughs> operative of a powerful. Organization known as the Beekeepers. <laughs> the, yeah. beekeepers. the Beekeepers. <laughs> yeah. I, I heard this. You, I heard this movie has a lot of buzz around. But, oh, do you see what's on the poster? The, the, the tagline. Do you is know on who the directed it, right? Uh, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's somebody like we know. Oh fuck! It's it's David Ayer. It's David. Oh, Ayer. that's yeah. why. That's why. This is his new masterpiece. They're the going to release it. It wouldn't be the first David Ayer movie we've done a commentary for. Yeah. Yeah. And it's definitely not the tax collector. Do you know what's on the poster? The the tagline that's on the poster? Yes, I do. What is it? There's a hive, and uh, you're invited. Expose the corruption. Protect the hive. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, something like that. Yeah, it was something with a hive, I know. Yeah, yeah, some bullshit. You better have a wife that calls him honey. 
Oh my yeah. God! Let we must do this movie. Honey. I am now making it an edict. Yeah. How many Silent puns there are? Beekeeper doubleheader. There are a lot of puns. Oh, they must have stung. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Jason Statham is at a point in his career. It's still a young career. Do you know who's in this movie? Doesn't fucking care. Dude, Jeremy Irons is in this movie. Yeah, do you know who else like, is in yeah. this? There's some, some um, major. There's, a, there's some major characters. I missed this. the other one. It was, I saw a girl cop. I, How about I, a driver? A, I'll say that. A mini driver? A Mine mini Gosling? driver. <laughs> no. That's right. What happened to you, mini driver? You were nominated for an Oscar. That was her first role. All the buzz was, around her went from away. Her. She was in Blood. She was in Witcher Blood Origins, and I was like, "Oh my God, what happened to you? Oh, Why yeah, are you she in this was. Tri- Yeah. She <laughs> what that happened show. to you? <laughs> That show, wasn't, that show wasn't as bad as you thought it was. Dude, it wasn't good, but it wasn't. There's got to be B pun. We have to do this movie. This, this movie yeah. is like ripe for us. <laughs> no, it, it is. Like, it, it's, I'm oh trying to think. Of, what's another B pun? <laughs> Can't think of what save, right it. save it, save it for the pocket. Uh, <laughs> like, it looks like we hit the honey pot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're all so bad, but so good. <laughs> I know. Keep, keep David Ayer. He's making the big comeback with this one. Yeah, yeah sure, he's not. Wait. Uh, next one, I you know, what's funny? I, old black I, I, I tried for you, David. <laughs> Action plan seven make David Ayer. A great director. <laughs> we can't do that. <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> Does not compute. Error, David, error, error. David, error. No, air, not air, error. Error, error, error. error. Close enough. Uh, next David one. David the mayor. <laughs> uh, next one. I didn't. I don't know if you guys saw this because I didn't give you the link to it. But the uh, the new Invincible trailer dropped. I don't know if you saw this. No, I Invincible. Did the you, did cartoon you, did you watch the that show that we've been asking about for yes, how many for years? Eighty eight years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did no, you I heard. I, I saw some stuff uh, on cartoon? it, so I can speak. About I didn't watch the spinoff. You never watched the first season? No, no, I didn't watch the spinoff. What, what's her name? Though? Oh, the, yeah, I didn't see it. Either. Didn't see what's the, what's the girl's name? In, in, um, in uh, Adam world? Eve, I think. Adam Eve. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't watch it either, but. Yeah. I'm kind of over spinoffs on Amazon, if you know what I mean. Well, we'll we'll get into that later. But uh, <laughs> uh, the thing about the thing that worries me about this season, or maybe the season after this one, I've read the Invincible comic book. There is no way they're doing what they did in the Invincible comic book. Why? Uh, we're in 2023. You can't touch a woman, let alone rip her fucking leg off. You can't do that, especially not allowed. the female lead. I think I think that's I think that's allowed though. Uh, Adam Weave gets her shit pushed in pretty bad, so I'm pretty sure they're not gonna do that. I think they're gonna do they'll, they'll cop out with like she was harmed in an explosion or something, but they're not gonna do all right. Well, let's see. I, I, I will say this her. is one of the one shows that I think has balls. I and I, I hope I I'm wrong. Am, I think Amazon I just don't has see it balls happening. with their fucking I think like, Amazon see, wants to wants to be a spark, wants the buzz to be heard throughout oh, all the streaming services. Oh, uh, and something <laughs> like that, I think, could easily be uh key. Now, yeah. uh, don't misunderstand me. I hope it happens because the comic book is really oh, good. I, I, agree. I just worry that somebody's gonna like. What are you? What are you doing with? The, I don't know. I, how? What are you doing? I mean, the first <laughs> season, dude. That first season was pretty brutal. Yeah, the first they, season they, was like ten years ago. I know. I know when was still, that? When was the no, first season? No, no, I don't it was know, like, like it came out like pre-COVID. Like, it, like it was like two years ago. I think it was twenty twenty one. Feels like it's forever ago, man. It was like early twenty twenty one. It's been because of, because the the reality we're living in now, you can't do a lot of stuff that like they want to do. I'm they might get away 21. with like Homelander's existence is amazing to me. Like the fact yeah. that he gets to do anything, what he does, it's amazing yeah. to me. And they and they're going to keep pushing the limit, I think, on the next season too, which mm. is great. Uh, I hope so. But, but even Vox Machina, they show a lot of fucked up shit in Vox Machina. Too. Again, I don't know how they get away with the Vox. I think these are outliers. I don't think this is the norm. These are outliers. Like Vox them, Machina, let them continue to be outliers because they're still critically acclaimed and people still watch it and love it. So it's like, so good. Why is that coming back soon? <laughs> I like. I love Vox Machina. They just had that. They just had the season this year though, so you're probably not going to get it till next year. Yeah, and then Lance Reddick passed, so yeah, it's going to delay shit. Fuck. And anyway. we'll, maybe Keith David will take over for him, like he took over for him in Destiny. Say less. <laughs> uh, last one. <clears throat> Guillermo del Toro is doing a Frankenstein movie with Mia Goth, Oscar Isaac, saw this, and Andrew Garfield. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm not a horror guy. But mm. I'm in. I don't know if you guys this think This has been his dream since he was a kid to do this. This movie. might be the shit, by the way. <laughs> this might be awesome. Yeah, I dig really it. I, I like I like it. I like Del Toro in general. I think I don't think he misses much. 
I think Mia Goth is going to, she's, I'm not, I'm not saying she's going to be, she's like the new hotness in terms of she will do. No, she's like, she shit. doesn't give a fuck. She's she doesn't like, I'll fuck. do She anything. will do the things that the, the others won't, but yeah, she'll, yeah. she'll make it interesting and good. You, you watch her. All, all yeah. the, all the X stuff and Max, and she's come up with Maxine next year and everything. Yeah. Her and, and Jenna, he, Jenna Ortega, they're like doing a lot of good stuff. So Jenna Ortega is a little bit more on the safe side. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, she'll, yeah. maybe she'll come out. A little, she's more like the, she's the Disney uh, version of Mia. But God, she, ca- like they care. Like Jenna Ortega actually gives a shit like about yeah. the character she's playing yeah, where you got so. so many people that don't really did a, it's like Justin was saying earlier, paycheck people. Yeah. I, I mean, they want to get paid, but Mia Goth was like, "Look, I'm gonna do what is the more interesting choice. I'm yeah, gonna do she, the, uh, the, the, she, the weird shit." She jerked off a uh, Scar's Guard in Infinity Pool. I didn't see Infinity Pool. She's jerking them off in that. You should, you should see Infinity Pool. It's very. <laughs> Maybe I should watch Infinity Pool. <laughs> Infinity Pool is really good. Anybody who hasn't seen it, it's a what? It's a Cronenberg's kid. Uh, Cronenberg. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What's yeah, his yeah. name? Brian. Yeah, uh, Brian. Uh, Brian. Yeah, Cronenberg. yeah, yeah. Yeah, per, yeah, yeah. Uh, per, yeah possessor or possessor. Possess, yeah, yeah. With uh, Andrew Rice Burrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what do you call it? Uh, I'm not sure when this movie Infinity comes Pool's out. Good. I, I'm, I'm not sure when this movie comes out. Uh, I think they just entered production. So I would say end of 2024 beginning of mid 2025 probably because you got you got the master of creature stuff like like in terms of like making it look old school but still like fucking quality doing frankenstein that's pretty fucking dope yeah i can't think of a better thing he would be able to do other than i don't know turtles <laughs> teenage mutant ninja turtles like you're on a tour be pretty dope yeah. the only thing i worry about him doing doing this movie is like it being long-winded don't make it long winded. What was the original runtime on the Mary Shelley? Frank- yeah, well, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein was fucking long winded. That was a long one. Well, that was Brana doing it too, like very operatic. Well, Brana doesn't do anything Experian. short. Yeah. I think Thor is the shortest movie he's ever done. <laughs> yeah, and that's even fucking long. Um, but make the movie like a crisp hour and a half. Hour and a half. Hour and a half. I want to see Oscar I- Isaac chew scenery, bro. I know, but how long was the original Frankenstein? Oh, probably like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. I think like it was probably like an hour and 27 minutes or something like that. You know? It was probably fucking short. You know? yeah, it's so, really... I don't know. You do what you want. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it. Cause what do you feel a, about how you feel about Andrew Garfield as Dr. Frankenstein? That's the one I'm kind of iffy on. I, I, He's a great see, actor. I, I, I want to see what he sounds like when he does. Like, it's alive. Unless yeah. he sounds like really mealy mouth. About, like, it's 70 alive. minutes. 70, 70 minutes, minutes an hour. Fucking, yeah, 1931. Hour and 10 minutes. 1931. <laughs> they, they ran out of film. What if he makes a shot for shot like Psycho? <laughs> I think he will probably get a better response. Nah, he's going to He's definitely going to do his own spin on it. He's more creative. He's going to be creepy with the the making of him. Like he's going to show. He's going to do something no, with good. the body parts stuff. Yeah, he's yeah. Gonna do make it weird. make it fucked up. Make make it like them t- digging up the bodies and putting all the fucking pieces of the body in a wheelbarrow and shit. Last Frankenstein movie I saw was the one with Robert De Niro. I didn't like that one that much. That yeah, was Mary Shelley. Yeah, that was yeah, a weird one. Not you a like fan, that? Though. It's just, uh, There's something I, fun I, about it, isn't there? It's, it's, I haven't, I it's, haven't it's, seen it's creepy. It's just time. like this mm, didn't get me. I, I didn't, didn't, didn't was grab that? me. Was De Niro, Brana, I think the last Frankenstein movie you guys Carter. watched was uh, Rob Zombie's The Monsters. Oh, oh God, God. fuck. Yeah, remember we watched that fucking We'll never get those two line. hours back. Never, ever again. <laughs> I see where he was going with it, but... I Do you? Didn't, I no, well, but it didn't let me finish. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I see where he's going, but I'm not gonna go. I'm not going with him. I'm not go going by, there. Go by yourself, bitch. Don't fucking care. <laughs> didn't care. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? This has been Can You Dig It? A little bit of jive and a lot of bit of turkey. You just made that movie so they both can have health care. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, gotta make sequels. another movie, or we lose. I mean, we gotta make a film. Finish. We got another picture in us. Come on, come on, <laughs> come on. Let's let's shoot for Pretty cheap. Sad, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why Rob Zombies from the twenties, but whatever. Uh, let's do some TV <laughs> round. <laughs> He's like, ah, yeah. Bobby, Bobby. Over here, we gotta shoot a picture. We gotta shoot a picture before I go on one of my rock concerts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Toots. How about the car? <laughs> yeah, hear this thing called the Telegram. <laughs> it's not going to last. <laughs> never, never. <laughs>
Never, 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 I say, never, I say. Uh, Oriental Express, that's where it's at. Oh, you want one of those Pony Express, yeah. that's, that's going to last Express. forever. Western Union, you never use Western Union. <laughs> Western Union. <laughs> I heard See? about it over the air, the airwaves. Oh, Women. God. <laughs> Women will never vote. <laughs> <laughs> vote. Get out of here. Make vote, me get, get out dinner. of here. I vote for no. <laughs> I, I vote, vote for no. dinner. Are you making it or not? <laughs> <laughs> I vote for Salisbury steak, potatoes, <laughs> peas, and carrots. And don't put any of those nasty fucking carrots in there again. <laughs> Rob Zombie. Get, get dizzy, Dane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, Justin, God. what have you been watching on TV? <laughs> what have I? Yes, what yeah. have you? Well, I I have... Uh, okay, yeah, I bet we've been watching a lot, actually, on TV. Ooh. Um <laughs> Uh, I'm saying, you know what's funny? Before you yeah. even say anything, I'm a, I have a feeling that both of you are going to cross a lot of, off of my list. I think we, I think we yes, all been there's the one. Stuff. There's one Maybe. I know. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe. Uh, last, I think we talked. We we uh, Matt and I talked about the uh, great Peacock show called Killing It. Killing and it. Yeah. after that, we were trying to find a new show uh, to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, and well. I surprised her because uh, my wife's favorite show was Frasier. Mm-hmm. She had no idea that Frasier was coming back. I did. Oh, I think we all did. Uh-huh. And I sat her down on Thursday. Right. And uh, so let's watch some, uh, some new Frasier. Mm-hmm. And we sat and we watched it all two episodes. There's two episodes. I'm in the third one. Uh, yes, third one was last week. Yes, it was. And tomorrow, as we're recording this, sorry, uh, and this week. Can't. Yes, yeah. yes. By the time this is released, one. it will be. The By the time this is released, it's only third. One. <laughs> and uh, as you'll listen to this podcast, my review will be up on the website, mm-hmm. and I will say a spoiler alert for you. Spoiler alert! <gasps> spoiler alert! That's good. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's I'm, good. I'm, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it off my. I'm gonna take it off my list because yeah. I want to talk about. It. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, look, look, look. look. I don't know why. I win in this. I went in. I thought you. I thought you guys were expecting the worst on this. We were. We were. We were. Even the I AI was in. expecting Matthew, the worst. Matthew, yeah. I went in. Arms no. crossed. We, we, you know, we talked angry. about listen. this, and you guys were like, "I fucking don't want to." Yeah, I but listen, listen, hate watch this. listen, listen. I'll meet just before DJ goes into his rant. Yeah, go ahead. We are told that Frazier's coming back. Okay. Yep. Number one, a show like that, you don't need to really bring back. It's, it's done, run its dude. course. It's run its but course. But guess what? It's coming back. And no one from the original cast is coming back except for the main title of Frazier mm-hmm. is coming back. Okay. That's a little scary, right? Because we know and love Frazier for what it is. And you're going to change the whole dynamics. What they did really good was they kept the dynamics there. Yeah. Do you see the similarities? Right. Yeah. 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 Instead of a dog, there's a baby. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, DJ, go into your thing. Here's the thing. I came into this thing. When I first heard about the revival, this is what I was. I I was very interested because I was like, if you do this right, good television. It's like a a rose in the desert at this point. Sitcom. Right. Then I watched the trailer and I was like, oh, no. Oh, no. And then yeah. you, last episode, you guys told me, oh, yeah, your boy's not coming back. It's just Frazier. And I was like, oh, oh, no. So I started watching the first episode, arms crossed, angry that this thing exists. And then I laughed and I la- and it caught me off guard. Like <laughs> I laughed like Do you remember what loud. the joke was that, that made you laugh? The first it one? was I think. Well, here's the thing. There was many, but the yeah, first one that. The first one that made me laugh, I think, was him in the airport, I believe. Yeah. Ma- made me yes. laugh. <laughs> right in the beginning, right? Those right exact... in the beginning. I was like, well, wait the a guy minute. With the, he's with his nephew. Yes, with uh, N- Niles' uh, son, spoiler, I guess, whatever's in the truck. No, so. Oh, is that who? Yeah. Uh, that who but that here's the thing. Um, <laughs> I, I, when I watch comedies, I rarely laugh out loud. I usually like I find stuff funny, but at the end I was like, that was really funny. Like I, I could hold it in. If I laugh out loud, that that, second that's second episode, that's, DJ. That's rare air. Rare air. That second, second episode, I was I laughing. I was on the ground. Now here, laughing. here we go. Here, here we go. And about I was Frazier. on mushrooms. I was sober <laughs> and I was laughing. <laughs> so here's the thing. Here's the thing, Matthew. Frazier is Frazier still, which makes it great, right? 
but he's not the reason I'm laughing a lot. My favorite character, and there's a problem with the show. I'll bring it up in a second. My favorite character, it's not Fra- no Frazier's. I, I won't even count Frazier. My favorite character is Frazier's boy. Freddy. That te- Freddy. Is that, the, no, is that the teacher? The teacher? The, the old guy? No, no. That's his son. Freddy's his son. Fred, no, 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 no. The teacher. You're talking about the teacher, the old teacher. The uh, British guy. Yeah. It, the, I, I thought at first him and the, 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 the dean or the principal were going to annoy me. They're, they have this little spat thing going on, and it, it works every time when uh yeah alan alan uh, alan he's fucking fantastic that in the fact that this episode where fraser's son spoiler alert uh essentially kills him off and fraser finds out that he killed him off yeah that, he sucked to the group of guys the yeah. firemen or whatever that's that had me rolling the i the ice hockey table well, maybe had it was, me rolling. oh god <laughs> the, the 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 joke with the baseball and the dirt oh, yes that they, and, they, 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 uh, with the, with the thing uh, they, and the, the credits. When, when, when Frazier does this, he's like, he, he, like, yeah, Chris, you're, it's an audio podcast. He puts his hands yeah, up definitely. to his face and he just is like struggling. <laughs> and, and it's essentially about where he's going to place this baseball, mm. uh, field dirt. There's a thing of dirt from that, Fenway Park, that yeah, Freddie, yeah. his son, has from Fenway Park. And they're going to put it somewhere because they now moved in. And, uh, he, Frazier, just like his son, are very particular, but complete opposite. So you have the odd couple kind of thing right. going on. And Frazier just like his mind just like gets so tight and he's just like, I just don't understand what you're yeah, saying. I don't know. It sports sounds things more you're like a laundry problem. <laughs> And it's yeah, talking about the dirt. Goes, those are the Red Sox. He goes, yeah, Red it Sox. sounds like a laundry it problem. Sounds like a laundry problem. <laughs> so good. And it just well, had me. It, fucking laughing it's a send back or a, even a the call. girl is funny the, and it's, it, it, it feels that, like old school it feels like you're in a time frazier's machine. walking to his door and she's like i just need you frazier because he <laughs> puts the another, baby to another sleep. one i've taken He's over like, another one <laughs> frazier you did it they always fall in love again. with you they always fall in love with you <laughs> and it just he, was so if funny. you're a, if you're a fan of frazier kelsey Grammer, he he, he he just has it in a holster where he can pull it at any point where he's like, I, I, I can nail this character. You can put Frazier in any situation. He's gonna make you laugh because Kelsey yes. knows he his thinks character. Thinks he's the smartest person in the room. He, he, it's, it doesn't matter the where he love. is, and it works. It just and he does it a great works. job with it My, for a guy. He that he actually looks really good for his yeah, age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was an alcoholic throughout uh, yeah, the he, original he had, Frazier. He was, Big Dolphins fan, by the way. Big Miami Dolphins fan. Yeah. Comes to a lot of games down here, by the way. Now, sorry about the other night, guys. I apologize. No, 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 no. Yeah, we, yeah. I saw that one coming. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> picture I saw that one coming. Um, but the. The dynamics between the characters. You're right. The the dean, yeah. uh, the the, um, the the professor. I mean, it 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 works. Uh, yeah. I, I'm. I I, I will say this. It shouldn't work, but it does. It shouldn't work, but it does. <laughs> I I I do. I wish all the episodes were available to watch. Yes, mm. but we were talking, and I I kind of man, I kind of miss the old fashioned. Miss I gotta wait every Thursday for a new episode, TV. and I tell you what. Every Thursday, I'm excited to watch a new episode of Frasier. <laughs> Here's the What's thing. What's happening I, to me? This is where I think <laughs> me and Justin are going to disagree about this show. There's one problem I have with this show. One problem. And it's just a preference thing. I think the Dean and the, the Alan, they, they're funny. <laughs> Kelsey Grammer is funny. When I say funny, I mean like it's natural. Their <laughs> dynamic of being funny feels right. real. Freddie doesn't have that. The the son, and I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to make him Mahoney. They're trying to make him the dad because it's like it skipped a generation where his son isn't like Frazier. He's like his dad, who was like yes. a man's man kind of thing. He's a fireman or whatever. It just when they have their, except for the third episode where they're. Uh, I don't know. If, you see the third episode? There's a yes when he's. Saying Frazier's like, I, I think I have to quit Harvard, and the son like turns it back on him. Yes. That was the one time I think he nailed the comedy beat for me. He just seems the one character that's a little bit out of place. I'll the, say the, Niles' son is perfect. The guy who plays Niles' son is perfect. Yeah, he does a good job. 
It's um, just him. He's a little Niles' son scared me in the beginning. I thought he's going to be in every fucking scene. No. And he's... he does disappear for a little bit, which is good. He's Kramer. And he just pops he, in and out. He's a Kramer, yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, you're right. I would say out of everyone's acting, uh, Freddy, the the actor that plays him, is his acting is very wooden. He, Generic man. He has this <laughs> over-expression that he kind of does with his mm -hmm. face. Um it's very generic. There has been some good scenes with him, but it, that's due to the writing, right, not yeah. the acting itself. But you're right, yeah. When 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 Kramer, uh, Kramer, when um, yeah. when uh, Freddy throws it back at his father for for doing exactly what he did to him, it worked. And I, you know, the girl, she she's a great actress, mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I think everyone's great. But you're right, Freddy's. I would agree with you. Is is the weakest uh, so far. It's early on, and Mahoney... Yeah, three episodes on. At, at least we know what they're trying to do. I know they're trying... They say, we, we can't make him neurotic. We got to get... Uh, uh, a, not say a manly guy, but just... Uh, he's supposed to be normal, so it's, it, it has something for Frazier to bounce off of, like he did with John Mahoney, who played his dad. Yeah. It's just he's... I just think this guy's not... Well, as, they're doing a good job. You know, the misdirection uh, episodes, uh, misunderstandings. Um, the fact that he was Dr. Phil it, made man. me fucking die laughing. That was also very well done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they made Frazier Dr. He was, I guess, in this universe, Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil, yeah. Oh, he had his own man. TV show. <laughs> and that, that that essentially is to explain why he has so much freaking money. Yeah, Because he, um, he does have a lot of money in the show. And that's kind of a plot hole because, you know, he just did radio. So... Right. Um, yeah, you don't make that much money off of radio, right. but uh, uh, it works, dude. And uh, I would say so far, the third episode is the weakest of the three. Um, <gasps> but that doesn't mean I think there's only like eight episodes. Uh, I think my biggest worry is what do you do for season two? Do you continue or do you try and change things up? Because the I whole show, the title sequence is, is the same, but it's different. The song is the same, but it's different. It's, yeah, it's all new it's lyrics. It's kind of refreshed, and it works, but uh, how long? And, and I well, think was there an idea episodes. that this is going to be a limited series? or were they? Gonna I think go it is. I think it's a limited series. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think you could do so much with it, though. Frazier, as a professor at Harvard. You could. You could do a lot of stuff with that. You could. You really could. Hell, you could have done... A lot of stuff with him with the TV show as well. With but though it'll be a little bit closer to the But that third episode, like what she does to the classroom and stuff, like to yeah, me, like yeah, yeah. that's classic sitcom over the top right. craziness, which I was kinda it, like, eh. But at the same time, I kind of miss the laugh track. I kind of miss the whole sitcom uh, situational comedy. Like especially just... when the jokes are well executed. Executed, yes. Yeah. The jokes are Everything with him and Alan to me, every time they have a scene together, yeah. it's fucking spot on, dry wit, it's good, good shit. That's why yeah. like him in the school could work because it's just Alan and him and the in the the professor yeah. dean or whatever. Yeah, it's great. Like sometimes when he goes back to the house, I'm like, ah, eh, this is fine, funny. But everything at Harvard has worked for me. Every time he's at that school, it works. For yeah, me. and you know, and one thing is, uh, I didn't watch Frasier until my wife. You know that was her favorite show, and then I was like, "Oh, I've I've only seen an episode or two. I never really watched it." So we sat yeah. down, and we watched it, and I really highly enjoyed it. And of course, my two favorite shows of all time, Seinfeld being one of them, was something I got to really introduce to her, which we started watching again a little bit. But then I said, "Have you ever watched one of my all-time favorite shows, Kirby Enthusiasm?" And she's never watched it. So that's the oh. second show we started watching. And we just finished season one. And I'm very curious to see how her reaction to Larry David changes throughout the seasons. Because <laughs> she really just thinks he's an asshole at this point. But I feel well, like she's going to well, start to understand the world really is an asshole world. Yeah. And sometimes you just got to be an asshole to that. <laughs> so it's uh, interesting to see. Um, I'm watching. Uh, Seinfeld and Frasier again. It's the nineties. <laughs> We've been we're in the Wayback Machine. And you know what? I don't hate it. No, yeah, things no. were better then. Yeah, yeah. there was writing. Sucks, hey, though. remember writing? <laughs> yeah, Frasier. It's got writing in it. Yeah, real writers. Speaking of which, Matthew, 
what have you been writer? Ri- what have you been? What writers have you m- m- murdered <laughs> on your way to watch television? Jeez, so many, <laughs> so many. Deaths. My blood awake. Um, I was trying to go through like what we kind of talked about last podcast. Um, I think we might have glazed over winning time, but now I know that that probably said it canceled. Wasn't. Yeah, it so canceled. angers me that it which was is just kind of like one of these weird things where when, yeah. when you finish the second season. It's like, oh, okay, this is fucking done. Like, yep. it, the the plug is pulled. I'm like, yep. oh, okay, well, I guess that was good while it lasted. There's like <laughs> literally no resolution for almost yeah, anything. Yep. <laughs> but, you know, you could have drawn it out. I would have watched more of it, but. You think whatever. they might find another home? It's very expensive show, though. Mm, uh, you know, at this point, the ship has sailed on it, I feel. It's like. I don't. I don't need to watch anymore because it kind of left a bad taste. The ending left a little bit of a bad taste, but it was good while it lasted. So, just fucking say la vie. Um, two things. So I know we talked about Chucky last podcast. So, yes, <clears throat> I'm almost caught up on that show. I'm just finished season two. Um, it's good. It's fun. It's fucking super super meta and super weird, but. It's one of these things where if you don't watch all the Chucky stuff, shit is probably going to get lost on you, though. But I don't know. I thought it was pretty fucking good. I'm glad oh, that they're actually still doing it. The whole it. White House thing's been pretty good. Uh, I, I'm, I'm about to get into third season, which is like all the White House okay. and stuff like that. So like season one was like in the town. Season two was mainly at a um, like a um, Catholic school for like bad kids and stuff like that. Um, I do like the fact in this show, though, they don't give any fucking qualms about fucking people getting murdered, specifically kids. <laughs> that bad, That's, a, I mean... Bad shit happens to kids in this show a lot. You know what's funny? Is, is the third movie, the one at the military camp, the only time yeah. kid, their kids have died in a Chucky movie? Because <laughs> I don't think they died. Kids don't die in the first one or the second um, one. Yeah, more adults get killed in part one. Because in the third one, a kid two. swallows a fucking hand grenade, I remember. Well, he jumps on the hand grenade. Yeah, and yeah, man. Up. Uh, Captain America does himself. Speed of Chucky, I don't think so. Bride of Chucky, no. Yeah, there weren't. There aren't a lot of... Kid murder. <laughs> yeah, but they, don't, they don't give a single fuck about kids getting fucking <laughs> killed in any way, shape, or fashion. But it's, it's, it's a fun show. You just have to really... You got to ride the wave. With a little bit, it's very mean spirited, which I like a lot. It's a very mean show. That's why it's so good. Uh, the Changeling on Apple TV with Lakeith Stanfield. That's that's a pretty fun. Show. Is that worth my time? I saw the, the poster. I've, I've, I'm, I'm only two episodes in. I like it a lot. It's you have to. It's another one where you have to stick with it, but it's creepy. It's really fucking creepy, but it's very like. It's very good. Like it's going in some directions that I want to know where it goes. It's got that yeah. little bit of a um, Twin Peaky type vibe, Jacob's Ladder type vibe in it oh, a little shit. bit. But it's told like a fairy tale a little bit. But it's 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 pretty damn pretty damn good. Mm-hmm. Um, now bad stuff. Um, well, I'll say one more stuff. That's okay. one more thing that's okay. Mm-hmm. Well, it's kind of it's kind of okay, but it's also pretty bad. John Carpenter Suburban Screams. I was going to watch this and I stopped this, myself. This is a weird show. Is it? <laughs> I've read I nothing. Saw the, I saw the trailer. Shit about it. <laughs> it's, it's not very good. The poster good. looked cool. The yeah, poster yeah, looks yeah, awesome. Yeah. Like, the trailer that, that gets looks me. all right. Like, oh, this looks like oh, the bunny man. This, this It's so, one, one, the first episode is so fucking Canadian. It's like, <laughs> it, it's like bothersome to me almost. <laughs> like there's a scene literally where he's like, well, what do you do? It's like, oh, I'm on the internet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's, it's it's just I'm on know, the internet. Yeah, I'm on the I'm internet. I'm surfing the web. I'm surfing, surfing the, the web. web. It's it's like the, the I'm looking web. for your friend who died or something like that. It's like John Carpenter, man. It's like, man, you are fucking not giving a fuck. He checked, he checked that a while ago. He's just making he music now. That, he checked that. You know, he's like, I got me and my son are just collecting paychecks for yeah, fucking man. music we're making. When a synth score, I got you, but uh <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 unfortunately not very good and I probably won't continue it. So no. sad, whatever it is, what it is. Then uh, I'm sure this is on your list, DJ Gen V. Man, this show is not good. 
It just doesn't look good. <laughs> it's I keep. Not I have good. it in my. I have it in my queue, man. I'm about. It's, I'm trying to want to watch it, but there's the first no episode. I was like, being okay. inside of me that wants to watch. I'm okay it. with the first episode. Well, they keep going like, oh, we're gonna have guest stars of so and so come in and out, and that's just to entice people. But I just don't think it's gonna really work it, for me. It. it it's, uh, I don't know who the show's for, because <laughs> I don't feel like the people that they're it's, making the show for give a fuck about this show. Nope. And the people that do like the source material are like, we don't fucking care because this is fucking stupid. Yep. It's a fucking mess. <laughs> yep. It, it is kind of shocking, but it's not good. It's not shocking in a way where I'm like, oh, yeah, the guy exploded in his penis. Like, that was like, oh, that's shocking. And they don't do shit like that. They do something similar, but it's done in a way where it's like, I don't it's a vagina. care. No, it's not even that good. I don't know. It's a. It's not good. I'm. I. I it is. Uh, episode well, three. I'm. I'm stalled. I'm stalled on episode three right now. Uh, I got my hands and, up. I just got my hands. And I, up. And I don't. Step back. <laughs> I don't care to go any further. Like I don't want to take this fucking journey. I don't fucking care. Even though the first episode was good, I was like, oh, this might be good. The and second like, no. episode killed you, huh? The third episode, I was like, yeah, I'm good. I'm just don't. This is how apathetic I am about this show. And I thought it was going to be good. And it's yeah. not. I, uh, I might go DJ, back and watch, watch the rest it? of Suburban Screams. Um, would you like me to uh, start the, should we, the game? Should we play, should we play, <laughs> should we play the game? That, uh... Here we go! DJ game. I don't care. This is the segment care. where I talk about TV, and Justin, Matt, you will tell me if they see. I don't care what makes sense, but it's like that's how it's like. Are you apathetic? Are you do, do you care? I don't care. <laughs> it's you care? it's more there. of a question. It's like, do you care? Now here's a hint. Uh, I go from worst to best. Uh, so what if there were a lot of bad shows this month? I, I've done nine. I, I watched nine. Uh, one of them. Um, uh, Justin talked about and I talked about with him and then one you just mentioned I just mentioned <laughs> I want to know where this is on the list right well we'll start uh, going to Amazon Prime Gen V <laughs> oh man yikes well, you're going best to worst or I'm worst going to worst, worst to best man. <laughs> Gen V God, I kind of want to just hear about it. yeah <laughs> we'll talk about it we'll talk about it we'll talk about it I don't know I kind of I don't know. I'm very. I you two watch a show that I've been kind of wanting to watch, but every time I see a trailer, I go, "This doesn't look good." It's hacky. <laughs> well, should we talk about it? Da, 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 da. Good. How about how about you skip? You the, how about this? Like we're gonna fast forward. <laughs> number one. What's your number one? My number one is Netflix. One of Netflix. Beckham. Oh, I don't care about that. All right. <laughs> Save it over. Let's, let's rewind. Beckham Beckham was your favorite? It was. The documentary of the Beckhams? Oh, yeah. It must have been a yeah. bad month. Really? I really enjoyed it. He loves soccer. Because of him or her? He's a football fan. Do you want me to talk about it? you want me to talk about it? you want me to talk about it? Yeah, I, I was here. Uh, Beckham. Well, Beckham. <laughs> I just skipped over three of them. Uh, or six of them, but whatever. Uh, Beckham. Uh... <laughs> It's interesting, not because it's soccer. It's interesting because of the life. I don't think there was an athlete, and that's been I've been escaping my mind that was more hated and threatened in my in their life than David Beckham for a time. For those who don't know, um, he was in a World Cup game versus Argentina, which was a big fucking deal. And I'll skip over the soccer thing, but he got kicked out of the game because of a red card that was kind of like harsh. Like the, the referee kicked him out of the game on a really kind of silly thing, which was his fault. Sure. The thing that really pissed everybody off in the country, the country of England, was that after the game, usually when somebody does something wrong, the coach kind of like steps up for the player. Now the coach goes, we lost because of David Beckham, essentially what he said. So the entire country for months mailed his mother <laughs> bullets threatened his life tried to kill or kidnap his kid tapped onto his father's phone threatened to stab him on the field 
booed him every time he touched yeah. the ball, cheered every time he was fouled. He couldn't go to the bathroom by himself because they would jump him. He was spit on, attacked for months, which I didn't know. I knew he was like, I knew he was hated. I didn't know how much he was hated. And mm. the fact that his wife and his mother still in the family still hold a grudge to the coach that literally, because it, here's the thing he got kicked out of the game but england did not lose because of him they went to penalty kicks which means that even with when you get kicked out of a game in soccer that you have to play with one less player yeah. but that didn't cause them to lose they went to penalty kicks and they could have still won and they failed but the coach just threw him under the bus and made the loss on him so for fucking months he had to deal with it for him to get out and by the fact it's directed by fisher stevens and if you don't know that's an oscar winning oh, yeah. uh documentarian and it's very he, he wore he wore brown face once yeah he did uh he's a short circuit uh, <laughs> never, forget. <laughs> never, never forget man never forget twice i think he never did forget. Uh, <laughs> but no, no he's, face. he's in the he's in the documentary as like like almost like he, you know i can hear them asking questions you never see fisher stevens but you can tell he's there uh, and this the way they shot it. It's, just, it's very well done. Um, the 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 stuff with his I say demise, but like his rise up, and then the hatred stuff, and then his redemption arc. I thought was really really well done. And the fact that it's like the first time he said he's ever talked about it because when it happened, there was no sports psychologist or mental health or whatever. He just had to eat it. He had to eat the fact that the entire country wanted him dead. And his family dead and his kid dead, like all that shit for a very long time, which is I, I never knew. Like I, I was trying to think of something equivalent. Like I was like, maybe Kyrie, maybe OJ, <laughs> probably OJ. <laughs> but yeah, maybe because LeBron. Every, it, no, because LeBron wasn't being mailed bullets. That, that's not a joke. They were mailing his mother bullets threatening to shoot her <laughs> because he got a red card well, they're never going to shoot her they're <laughs> marrying if they're sending all the bullets to her he's going to shoot them it was like i think the letter was like the next one's coming coming faster or some shit some weird shit. whatever it's <laughs> it's, it, it, a, it's it, all coming snail man <laughs> but yeah just the the, the documentary is really well done and he's really candid about everything in it which i thought was really good and uh because somebody was telling me, a, a friend of mine who's a fan of the team that he was on was like, "Well, they should have had the team do it." I well, go, he was, if what, li "Was he in Liverpool?" Well, like, well, he's, he's a Man the United. World, the world, was, okay, I thought he was in Liverpool. So. No, he's Man United. He was, but he yeah, was always Man United. If yeah. he went Man United, then he went to Real Madrid, and then he went to PSG, and then he went to, he went to LA Galaxy, right. yeah, and Galaxy. there's a whole big thing about that. There was a big controversy with him and Landon Dunham. It's just a lot of stuff that you might not know about David Beckham, other than he's like. Oh, he was that hot British star and he has the weird hair and shit like that. There's a whole thing about the hair. It's like all that, all that stuff I found very like you kind of remember it vaguely, but he goes into detail about it. And it's very well, it's just very well done documentary. It's I usually don't really give a shit about like the Arnold documentary. I think it's like light years better than the Arnold documentary. And the Arnold documentary is good. I like the Arnold documentary. Yeah, this one's kind of like better because you got Fisher Stevens behind it. So you get a lot of perspectives that you probably wouldn't get because like the guy was telling me like I, I wish man united would have done it i was like well you wouldn't have got all the stuff about the fact that he was uh hunted and the coach hated him and you wouldn't have got all that stuff they would have brushed all that under the rug and made it all like hey david beckham was great we love loved david him. we love beckham yeah. beckham and it made it all happy and shit and it, the way it ends uh, on a personal note it ends uh when he buys inter miami on the game where Lionel Messi hit the, I don't know if you saw the Lionel Messi goal that like his first time playing for Inter Miami, he hit a goal. It, yeah. it ends like right th at that moment, so it's got like a fucking perfect, <laughs> a perfect arc. And so yeah, yeah. It, if you're into soccer, you'll love it. If you're not into soccer, you'll find it interesting because they go into the Spice Girl shit and the marriage and the wedding and how crazy it was and Tom Cruise and all this shit. Jackie Chan is in it, a whole bunch of crazy. Jackie he was, Chan. He was one of the most famous fucking athletes in the world for a very long time. So, yeah, I, I would recommend it. Gen V, on the other hand, is dog shit. That's yeah, pretty bad. Dog shit. <laughs> Absolute, <laughs> unadulterated, pure dog shit. <laughs> time to take account of the testimonial from our tenacious talker of turgid thoughts. It's Julie's Diary. Dear Diary. So after three years of costly reshoots, a writer's strike, a director's strike, and an actor's strike, Captain Marvel 2. Sorry, 
forgot about the name change. The Marvels is ready to go to theaters. And my advice for you, in the immortal words of Thornton Mellon from Back to School is, don't go. You're not a movie anymore. You're a nail. Some would say, the final rusty nail in the moldy, wretched coffin, that is the MCU. Do you know what movie in the MCU comes out, after the Marvels? Exactly. No one does. The one strong and powerful nuclear power plant of its, that was the Marvel Cinematic Universe has finally melted down. And the toxic radioactive sludge slowly crawling its way down toward the water table, ready to poison all of civilization. Is the Marvels. I remember when the trailer dropped. I felt it. That it, being apathy. As if a million voices cried out, in one voice and said. Who gives a shit? I mean, Brie Larson. Do you still even need to do this? You're an Academy Award winner. I'm sure you have tons of projects lined up. Let me look at your upcoming itinerary. You have. Cameos in the Fast and the Furious franchise. And a cable series called. Lessons in Chemistry. You know what? I take it back. Brie, you have to do everything you have to, to make this movie work. Suck a dick. Kill a guy. Kidnap a baby. Do whatever you have to. Lest you fade away into literal irrelevancy. Like Shailene Woodley. This has been Julie's Diary. The Simplistic Reviews Podcast will be back after this. Hey, remember when we all wondered what cool thing caused Nick Fury to lose his eye? And then it turned out, he got bit scratched by a fucking cat. Thanks a lot Captain Marvel. Nova Stream Movies, your weekly guide to all the latest movie news and reviews, hosted by your special Aussie hosts Ryan, Alistair and Jonathan. Check us out online at www.novastreammovie.com. Good morning, Zaslav. Jesus! What the... David Lynch? What... What are you doing in my bedroom? Why do you have a cow? I have a cow. I know you have a cow, David. How do you and your cow get in here? I I live on the fifth floor. I have come here seeking reciprocation, Zaslav. Recompensa. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Never mind. Go on. You let that fucking Donny Villanova guy remake one of my pictures, and I think it's only fair that I get to remake one of his. Well, technically, David, Denny Villeneuve didn't remake your movie. He just adapted Frank Herbert's novel again, just like you did. David Lynch's Sicario. Oh, boy. Picture this. We open in Mexico. A plucky FBI agent leads a dangerous raid on a drug cartel stronghold. Okay. But when they search the house and rip open the walls, they find not drugs, but... Bodies. No! The goddamn chupacabra! What? The chupacabra. Is it dead? Is it alive? Is it thinking? This is important, David. Is it thinking? You know what I'm thinking, David? You're kind of losing the plot here. No one who paid money to see the inner workings of the Mexican drug trade wants to have their film derailed by mystical creatures that slaughter livestock. He can hear you, Zazalov. I'm I'm sorry, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I almost forgot he was here. David Lynch's prisoners! David, it's seven in the morning. Please stop yelling at me. A burnt out cop and a desperate father desperately search for a kidnapped six-year-old girl. We see how far someone will sink into the abyss in order to save a loved one. All right, that sounds a lot better. Cohesive, coherent. And we play the entire thing backwards. Here we go. The entire film. All the sounds of Tiny Tim's 1968 classic Tiptoe Through the Tulips until we stop on a shot of the missing girl as a fetus in the womb of her mother. Now, it's imperative, we stay on that shot for no less than nine minutes. I can't tell you how batshit fucking crazy that is, David. Like, clinically insane. So, you like it? No. You see 
The nine minutes represents the nine months of pregnancy and... I don't care. David Lynch's arrival! Something I'm presently regretting. A professor in linguistics is recruited by the military to communicate with alien invaders. And? That's it. No, it's not. What are you insinuating, Zazlov? Where's your constant cup of crazy, David? We all know what's coming. Just pour it out. Come on. Give me the crazy. Now you listen here, bucko. I'm a four-time Oscar-nominated director. I've been doing this for over 50 fucking years. You might want to afford me a little goddamn respect. You're right. I'm sorry. Sounds perfect. David Lynch's arrival. With puppets. I've got a connection with those Jim Henson folks. Uh, I have it. I have it all worked out. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. Oh, seriously? Why not? What's another tax write-off? Well, what, what was that? So who do you have in mind to star in this? Well, I have eyes on Michael Parks, Chris Isaac, maybe Bull Pullman, and of course, my favorite little tidbit... Laura Dern. Laura Dern! Time for the game that'll have you going down with the ship. It's Simplistic Submarine. Simplistic Submarine, this is the segment in which uh, usually Matthew and Justin will go head to head and guess something about the other person. And if they get three hits, they win. But in this time, because I'm a narcissistic son of a bitch, Mm. I'll be asking them questions about me. And whoever gets the right question three times on me Ooh, wins the game. It's so like it's battleship. Not, it's battleship, but it, you're, 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 I'm the target. <laughs> Come on, me, kill me. Come on. You're, I'm the, you're I'm the I'm, sub I'm, today. Firing I'm, at you. Huh? Firing at me. So uh, I guess you guys can rock, paper, scissors, who goes first. I don't know how you Rock, uh, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, you got it. Oh, all right, Justin goes paper. first. All right. Nobody saw that, but he won. I'll, I'll, I'll Justin won the head. Justin won the coin toss, and now Justin will go first. He got the. If he oh, gets the answer so correct. Cool. Uh, that I ask him, he will get a hit. If he doesn't, he gets a miss, and then Matthew will go, and whoever gets the most at the end of these questions uh, wins. Just like our uh, podcast is very hit and miss. Hit and miss, yes, yeah, true. Uh, first question, Justin. Yeah. Most hated film <laughs> DJ has seen this year? Oh, Dial of this Destiny, year. This The year. Flash, or Ant-Man Quantum Mania? He hated Flash. all these. Most hated film DJ has seen this year. Ant Man, or... Flash, Ant-Man. Dial of Destiny, Dial a Friend, Deal a Meal, Deal. I was gonna say Flash. Deals on Wheels. <laughs> but I know you did appreciate some uh, scenes in Russia. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think. Quantum Medium he hated. The least. Did he? For some odd reason, I want to say Indiana. Give him hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say in... I want, I want Indiana Jones. Jones. I'm going to say Indiana Give Jones. Give him hell, Indiana. <laughs> Give him hell, Indiana. I'm Did going you? to bed, Indiana. <laughs> I have perfect teeth. I have perfect teeth for I'm a, 93 years a, a old with perfect teeth, man. Indiana Jones. I've lived in the desert my whole life. <laughs> in a time period where teeth like this do not exist. I stole these teeth from the future me. We don't have dental upgrades this high. We don't even have dental insurance yet. Indy, you look so Indy. young. You look so good, but you sound so old. <laughs> I'm going to say Indiana. You want Indiana Jones, huh? I mean, they're all bad, so. That's the point. Like the most hated that. film DJ has seen this year was Indiana Jones and the Dollar Destiny. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's not, a hit. That's a hit. Not shat. Not shat. I don't think you hated Quantum Mania enough. I think. I think. You I think you just said I, I, I was apath- I was like, this is so yeah, you're, bad. You don't care garbage. about it. You're not, Indiana you Jones. I the Flash I, it, it, was it bad. Angered me. Flash had moments where I was but like, you know what? Really yeah, Michael Keaton. Uh, yeah, but Indiana other than that, Jones, it would have sucked. Yeah. Yeah. Without those Michael Keaton moments, it would have been. It probably would have won. But yeah, I know. Indiana Jones was a okay. hate crime. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, hey, you like things? We'll fuck you. It was, it was like watching that <laughs> that that video from 1991 in L.A. with the beating. The L.A. riots. What are you talking about, Matthew? <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing the pronoun game. Oh, you're talking. 
I see. Imagine Indiana, J- Indiana Jones getting beaten by the LA police department. <laughs> by the LA police department. Give them hell, police. <laughs> Give them hell, and why? Give them a beating, no. LAPD. <laughs> All right, Matthew, you're next. All right. I'm next. Favorite, favorite film Ooh. DJ has seen this year. Wow, we still got a month left in the year too. So sure. this could this this is a uh, uh, pending pending, pending. Uh, up to uh, up to. I don't think anything's going to be beginning worse. of November. How about nothing's up to gonna, the beginning? Nothing's going to be worse than Indiana Jones and the dial. No, no, no. Trust me. The no. dial a friend. I, I, again, there's apathy and there's like hatred. I don't think I'm going to hate anything more than I hate. Anything. I think I'm going to write it down. Yeah. Because I think I know it. Which one? The one I love the most? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, Favorite wow. film I've seen this year. Here's the choices. Okay. Killers of a Flower Moon. Mm. Across the Spider Verse. Mm. Oppenheimer. Oh, I don't know. Mm. I think I. I think I know. Because mm-hmm. Spider Verse, I think you really liked a lot, but I don't think it's your favorite. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm put it. I'm put Oppenheimer out there. This. Three oh, hours of with people talking in an intelligent way. <laughs> people talking. <laughs> what that on the poster? Oppenheimer. People talking people in talking intelligent, in intelligent way. ways. <laughs> Matthew Stewart said those reviews. O- o- over over the, the subwoofer going <laughs> for three fucking hours. So if you could understand what they're saying. Uh so yeah, he says I'm, Oppenheimer. I'm saying Oppenheimer. I don't Favorite think you, film? I, don't, I don't think I don't think Killers of the Flower Moon. You're gonna say like, "Wow, this was my favorite." <laughs> that's people talking for three hours as well. I know that's, uh, that's even more to people talking. More talking. So there's some people talking. There's more people talking and racism. Yeah, and racism. Uh, favorite film DJ has seen this year. Be there for the dialogue. Stay for the racism. <laughs> favorite film DJ has seen this year does involve a Batman Einstein. It's Oppenheimer. There you go. See, we've you know. seen Oppenheimer. Einstein's Batman, because he keeps showing up and disappearing like Batman in that movie. I know. Like, hey, Oppenheimer, he turns around, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit, what the fuck are you yeah. doing here, <laughs> Einstein's like, hey, <laughs> Oppenheimer. Like, oh, Oppenheimer. The award is not for you, it's for them. <laughs> Oppenheimer. I'm, f- I'm very tired. I was a womanizer. <laughs> which, which, which one did you think it was, Justin? Which one do you think it was? Yeah. Well, was, so you, was that on so that you, list? Was no, it, I it, said I, no, he said he wasn't on the list. No. He wasn't. I was. Gonna, I thought you were going to say Mission Impossible. No, I thought that was going to be on his list. I don't think. I don't think you really liked Mission Impossible that much. Well, I think uh, you, you know, liked you it. Don't, you don't know you what liked it. You, you liked, you liked it. Think. You don't know what I think, right? You don't know. You don't know well, me. It, apparently, it didn't even make your top three. Then, buddy, not make my top fucko. three. Fucko, did not make my top three. No. Fucko, fucko. Neither did Sisu, and I love Sisu. I know, and I think uh, what do you call? It? I think I think you liked Spider Verse, but I don't think you like I don't think you like Spider Verse as much as I like Spider Verse. I think I like the first Spider Verse better. Spider Verse is great though. It's, it's, I like the first one though. Yeah. You like the first one Because it had Nick Cage in it. Nick I'm surprised, Cage you, in it, I'm surprised so. you didn't have uh, the Teenage Mutant. You liked Mutant it more Turtles because it had Nick, Nick Cage in it. Never saw a Teenage Mutant. Turtles. You didn't see the new one? I, I, nope. <laughs> I like that. I like that more than Spider Verse though. Wow, maybe I gotta watch it now. Matthew likes it more than Spider Man. Holy shit! If you're, right. if, uh, if can you're I just a... say, uh, when you get a chance, Jay. since you're talking about Batman, uh, uh, Aronofsky, watch an interview with him. Mm-hmm. He looks like Christian Bale. What? Like Darren Aronofsky <laughs> I, now? I feel like Darren Aronofsky now is just Christian Bale. I think Christian Bale is the same person. Oh my Ooh, god! Ooh, that's cool. Did you just break a fucking story on this fucking show? I think, uh, I think yeah. we, I think, yeah, he's got this is a special movie. action item. Action item. Action, action item. Action item. Has Darren Aronofsky and Christian while. Bale been in the same room at the same time? Have we seen them anywhere in the same state? Do they even live in the same region of the country? Like, like, what? yeah. Maybe, Again, they, maybe I, they have their own verse. It's I'll like actually do an interview like on Aronofsky one of those late, verse. I think the late night show or whatever it was he was doing. He filmed that uh, the Sphere in Vegas, which is really cool. Oh. I've seen it. That's really wait, awesome. Wait, has Bale been in an go. Aronofsky movie? Has Bale been in an Aronofsky movie? Was he in? The, who, and who he did looks the, like Christian Bale, oh, and he kind of sounds like him, oh, like an yeah. American yeah. accent. I think they've always kind of looked alike. Yeah, they are white. All right, next one, Justin. They, uh, <laughs> And, you know, they all look the same, right? They all look the same to me. Uh, you like I'm looking at a girl. Mirror, I hear man. you. Worst show seen on Disney Plus this year. Oh, how come Justin gets all the fun ones? <laughs> he gets he gets all the 
guess the worst, and then you're gonna be like, hey, Matthew, what's the best? What's the best? Hey, uh, worst. There's a show seen on Disney Plus this year. The fact that you have a whole category dedicated to one streaming service is <laughs> that's <a> proof enough. <laughs> it's proof in the pudding. Action item the, ten. Action item ten. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> The fuck, Disney? (laughs) (laughs) Secret Invasion, Mando Season 3, or Ahsoka? This is the worst. The the worst worst. show seen on Disney Plus this year. Secret Invasion, Mando Season 3, and Ahsoka. Was Willow this year, too? No, that was last year. Oh, man. Oh, Willow, how we didn't even know the... (laughs) I'm going to say Ahsoka. These are all bad, by the way. I'm gonna say Ahsoka. You want with Ahsoka, huh? I'm going. Okay, can I put my two cents in? Oh, you write it down. Then we'll see if it's. Oh okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. That's a little visual. All right. Justin says Ahsoka. The worst show, show seen on Disney Plus this year by DJ Valentine. Who's me? It's Secret Invasion. Sorry, that's, that's a miss, buddy. That's, that's a miss. That's yeah. what I put. That's what I. Secret Invasion. Oh, don't get you me wrong. You hated that show. Ahsoka's bad. But Secret Invasion is on is another, fucking uh, watchable. Did we talk uh, about Secret Invasion? Uh, no, we didn't I because think, I, I think I, we, it was number one on my list, and we just moved right on past it. <laughs> no. we, oh yeah, that was bad. like wasn't that like the previous like month or something like that? It's like, hey, let's yeah. do it inverted. Yeah. <laughs> it <laughs> let's was in, bad. Let's, let's invert this. We went. Inverted. No, we inverted for Robin yeah. Hood. The week, the month, a couple months back, we had I had done Secret Invasion, but we we skipped on that because I think I believe I don't think Matthew, any of us gave your up. your example was I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care. So we did not. Which is yes, funny because I think that it's it's a good comic arc that I thought would work and it just didn't. did. You watch it? No, of course not. <laughs> All right, next one. Did you watch something? <laughs> Did you watch it? Uh, next one. Matthew. Yeah? Right now it's one-to-one, so you can take the lead right here. I can. Your, your sub has sprung a leak. I got, I'm putting, I got the, the finger in the dam like yeah, the you, Dutch you boy. Need the, yeah, you need to put the <laughs> finger in the dike. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, favorite action film DJ saw this year? Action film this time. Wow. Yeah. Right. Extraction 2, John Wick Chapter 4. Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Ooh, I see. I'm not gonna say Extraction Two. No, that might be a guilty pleasure. But come on, man. That's like a that's like a red herring. Come on, man. Come, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Dead Reckoning or John Wick Four? For some reason, I don't know why. I, I know we we didn't really talk about John Wick Four. I don't think you like John Wick Four as much as other John Wicks. And then Dead Reckoning is probably better than some of the other John Wicks. So, by deduction, mm-hmm. I'm going to say Dead Reckoning. Favorite action film DJ saw this year was actually by a nose, a really tiny one. Tiny nose? John Wick Chapter 4. Really? Barely. Wow. And it doesn't Man. beat out Dead Reckoning. Whoa. It beats out Extraction. Extraction too. We have a tie game. Yeah. Wow, these are a lot yes. of noses. Yeah, yeah. That, that reckoning was okay. It was solid. It was a It was Ghost Protocol yeah. levels. It wasn't yeah. like you I know, know you said nation. you weren't that impressed by it. Yeah. You were like, okay. It was okay because it's, it's, it ends on like a cliffhanger. Not, that's, not a, a cliffhanger, cliffhanger that's never going to get resolved. Yeah, now. we're never going to see part two. Uh, <laughs> But no, it was fine. I, I liked it. It's just coming off a of fallout, bro. It's like, unless you trump it, which is very hard to do, you're going to feel a little bit What do you call down. me? Well, easy. Who, me? Uh, but Extraction 2 was fantastic. I mean, the story is very thin. But the, the action. <laughs> did, you, did you like the first Extraction? I did. Oh, okay. Com- hey, comic book movie, by the way. Uh, next one. Chris, uh, I feel bad for Chris Hemsworth. He's not going to be doing movies much longer. No, yeah, I heard. I heard that. That's fucking rough. Um, yeah. Matt, he's going to get jealous here. Justin, I am. No. Most hated female character. <laughs> Who me? <laughs> that DJ hates this year. <laughs> oh, I, I, I know which one this is going to be already. I might. I, I'm going to say what it is. What Should is it? I? No. You, 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 I'm going to say uh, Phoebe. Right, hey, write it down here. on a piece of paper. Okay. <laughs> and see, we'll see if Matthew. It's has too it. late. <laughs> too too late. All right, out of these characters, uh, action plan. Rewind that. Action and plan. Delete and put it in. 
Later. Cassie Lang, Helena Shaw, Sabine Wren. Oh, they're all bad. Cassie Lang from Ant Man Quantum Mania, for those who don't know. Yeah. Helena Shaw from The Dial of Destiny, or Sabine Wren from Ahsoka. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Ahsoka since I lost with Ahsoka last. I feel oh, my you're, win you're, for you're Ahsoka is down, bound to huh? happen. So you going with Sabine Wren? Just, just keep putting money on Ahsoka. It just always bet on Ahsoka. <laughs> always bet on Ahsoka. I mean, I really want to go with Indiana. Uh-huh. I'm gonna Give go him hell, Justin. I'm going to go with Ahsoka. Ahsoka. He's firing his torpedo. He's loading it. He's shooting it. And he scores. Yeah. Sabine Wren. Oh, man. The worst female was character. It, was it even I by a nose shit. or was it by a long, like, a, by, like Okay, here's like the difference. Running away. Hel- here's the difference between the three, okay? Helena Shaw was a piece of shit. She left Indy to die three times, but at least at the end of the movie, even though it's a fucking scene that makes no sense, she wouldn't even allow him to die the way he wanted. She at least was trying to help. Sabine Wren commits war crimes, and every death that Thrawn does from here on out is on her, and she did it for a guy she doesn't even like. And she just shrugs her shoulders. She commits war crimes by letting one of the most evil dictators known to man escape twice on purpose. Yes, and she was a good character. That's the difference. Helena yeah. Shaw's a new character. Sabine Wren was a good character that yeah, they she... made a bad character. It Cassie Lang is innocuous. It. Nobody gives a shit about Cassie Lang. She's horrible. Yeah. She blames her father for saving the universe. She's right there, but fucking cares. It's Cassie Lang. Well, how can you be <laughs> mad at Paul Rudd? I mean, what have you done, Dad? I saved the fucking... Anyway. Uh... <laughs> you should have flown into Thanos' butt. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, Matthew, giant man. you get a hated one right here. Most hated. I'm aiming. I'm aiming for the. I'm going for the for the Molson here. Most hated male character DJ has seen this year. See, I'm making it fair. Oh, cool. Thanks. I get to. Barry Allen, <laughs> Eight the Great, or Roman from Fast and the Furious X. <laughs> Who's the second one? Who's that? Nate from Ted Lasso. Oh, Ted Lasso. Roman from Fast X. Barry Allen. From the Flash. Hmm. See, these are all like annoying characters, but I have to figure out who was egregious enough that that I me off, hated that you hated. Yes. But I, I gotta I gotta use the redemption arc by proxy of the Helena Shaw mm. thing. I think the Ro- Roman. I think Momoa from Fast X was entertaining enough to just be stupid, but not hateable. Plus, he was like the Joker in that movie, almost. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you compare? How dare you compare the Joker to Roman? <laughs> glad you're dead. Yeah, I'm glad you're dead. <laughs> um, I'd say I'm, I'm gonna go with Nate because his arc doesn't make sense, and it just comes back around. It's like, oh, okay. I'm going for the. I'm going for Nate. Uh, Nate the Great, huh? Wonder, Wonder Kid. Matthew was loading up his torpedo. I'm loading up. He's firing. Firing. And he hits it in his Nate the Great. We got a game, ladies and gentlemen. We We have a game. What's our game? This thing is, this sub is is about to get sunk. (laughs) But how can you sink a sub? It's already underwater. Whatever. Shut up. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) The the sub is going to run. Take on more water. Shut up. (laughs) Take it on water. (laughs) We're underwater, (laughs) idiot. We're going to get Greyhound. Hounded, greyhound. Uh, yeah, Nate the Great. Nate is. I mean, one does. You're right. It doesn't make sense. And two, he never gets any recompense for what he did. Yeah, it's just like, oh, okay, it's all kite night. And I, people go, what? What did he do? That was so wrong. He mentioned Ted's son. Never got revenge for that. That motherfucker Ted. can talk shit about me all you want. You talk about my son. That's an ass. He should have got at least an ass with him. Roy Kent uh, Ken is right there. Lashing. Somebody's gonna drop his ass. That that that's like one level. If you're gonna really involve evolve the character of Ted, which they're never gonna do now because the series is over, mm-hmm. that would have been the 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 the, the low point <laughs> if he would have just snapped and went at Nate, and that would have set up an arc later for him to actually apologize to Ted. 
which we really never really fully got. <laughs> so yes, he never really did. It was just, yeah, oh, Roman's well, a clown. He's not the for, Joker. Yeah, Barry yeah, Allen was annoying he's, twice, he's but not Nate, the clown, clown Nate. prince of crime. Okay, Justin. Yeah, you could win <laughs> with a win here. You could win with a win here. <sighs> yeah, sure. Um, you can win with a hit here. You can win with it. Well, sure, you can, whatever. You can uh, hit with a bullseye. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> dig it. Uh, movie <laughs> DJ refused to see out oh. of sheer principle. Mm. Oh. Not wow. spite, principle. Spite, principle, pick your word. Same thing. All right. Pick your poison. This year. Yeah. Blue oh, Beetle. No, I want of all time. <laughs> of all time. <laughs> <laughs> of all time this year. Turtles in time. Uh, no, Blue Beetle. <laughs> <laughs> it's not called that. <laughs> Transformers Rise of the Beasts. <laughs> Barbie. Oh. Well, I That's think I know for a fact there. you saw Blue Beetle. Okay. I remember you saying something. You know for a fact, huh? You yeah. know for a fact, huh? You, wow. You, sure you, you recollect for, that correctly? Yeah. Are you sure you weren't... You weren't... Smoking that dokey dokey. So... Smoking a dokey dokey. <sighs> I know you're a Transformers fan. Oh. Long time fan. But I know you also hate what happened. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's a what? hate crime. Like, I, I, I know you hate what happens. You know, <laughs> to your people. I know, I know you sit down in your chair every like evening. I'm a scorned I know you, Native American. I know you lay down in your bed right before you shut your eyes. And when you shut your eyes, you can't. <laughs> Don't look. Can't look away. It. Don't look you know, at it. Like a doll's eyes. And like I would. I would see you saying, I'm not going to watch Barbie, mm -hmm. but I'm sure you probably had a difficult time not wanting to watch it because of Margot. Uh-huh. And how jokey it is, and it's not really a kid's movie in a sense of what happened. So I'm going to go with Transformers. Rise of the Beast. So Rise just to be clear... Of... Of these three movies, Blue Beetle, Transformers, Rise of the Beast, and Barbie, DJ, who is me, refused to see out of sheer principle. The other two, DJ did see. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Justin has loaded his torpedo. He has fire. And he has completely missed. <laughs> Was it Blue Beetle? I, Barbie? It was Barbie. Wow. <laughs> really? I saw I thought, Blue Beetle. Wow. I saw Transformers yeah. Rise of the Beast. At a principle, huh? At a principle. I took my sister and my mom to see Barbie and I dropped them off. <laughs> I literally Man, you dropped are, them you off. Are, you are fucking petty. And Tom Justin petty. is right. I love me a tall glass of Margot Robbie. She is. Apparently, she's, very she's tall the tippy top. Too. That's the tippy top right now. And the Armas is coming for the crown, but the, right now the crown re rests on the head of one Marco motherfucking Robbie. But no, I don't need to see that movie. That movie's what? not made for me. <laughs> it's not. Wow. It's, it's it's the Gen V of movies. It's the Gen V of movies. Transformers: Rise of the Beast. Um, you saw it. Huh? <laughs> I watched it. It Are was there, bad. Is, is there is there a lot of racism in it? It's a lot of is stupid it, or, shit. Or, in is it, or is it minimized? <laughs> it's a lot of dumb shit in is there. Is it as is it as is it as racist as racist robots <laughs> <laughs> with gold teeth? And I'm trying to remember, is there a racism scene in there? There is a scene where somebody's racist to a Spanish person. That makes is it. it a, any, but who cares? Who gives a fuck? It's it, awful. <laughs> They're all all. Here's the thing: Blue Beetle, bad, bad, bad. Transformers: Rise of Beast, worse, worse, worse. Barbie, I'll never know. I'll, I'm never gonna watch it. Anyway, you'll watch it. You'll watch it one day. No. Is Bar hey, hey, I, I got a question. Yeah. Margot Robbie naked in it? I, I think she's close to it. What do you mean? Like, I think she's not naked, but she's like. No, no, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Uh, next one, oh. <laughs> Matthew, you could win. This, with isn't this one. the isn't like the uh, the curiosity killing you? Not really. I got, I got Wolf of Wall Street on Blu-ray. Uh, <laughs> You got, a, you got a point there. <laughs> I just have that one scene on Blu-ray. Yes. I have an entire. I have an it's entire Blu-ray. Blu I, I have an entire Blu-ray. It's it's like it's, it's, it's no it's, movie. It's, it's just it, one it, it, scene. It, it's one scene. It's five minute Blu-ray. Yeah, it's just it's a loop. It's like a, a free use. It's like a ten seconds of free use. 
or fair use. Oh, uh, Will Smith, you gonna I, fuck I that? I fairly you use that scene a lot. Naked, you fucking idiot. Anyway, uh, <laughs> silence. He's suffering silence. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Uh, Matthew, you can win with this one right here. Got to admire Jada. Okay, let's let's let's. Uh, I I got my uh, periscope down. Periscope up, down. Up periscope. Up down periscope. Down um, periscope. <laughs> most anticipated film of 2024 for DJ. Whoa. This is this is going out with a bang. Joker 2. <laughs> okay. Dune 2. Hmm? Furiosa. Ooh. Well, the first one's out. Uh, hmm. Furiosa. Who's playing Furiosa again? Anna. Is it, is it, Anna, is it Anna? Anna? Anna Taylor Joy. She just Charlize got in the movie. Too, I think. Who? Never mind. Go who? <laughs> <laughs> he just had a stroke. Because <laughs> I know what this answer is. <laughs> you already know what it is. Don't you? <laughs> Chris Hemsworth's in the Furiosa too. Oh, he is. Oh, okay. Furiosa two. Plays a sh- surfing instructor. <laughs> I hope he does. <laughs> Middle of the desert. Hey, dude, would you, would you like to surf the dunes? Dunes surf the dunes. Dunes surf. Dunes surf. Want to go dune two surfing? Well, I think the, I'm Frankie. pretty sure the answer is going to be dune two. Dune two. Witness me, dune surf. Well, hold on a second. I, I, oh yeah, dune two did get pushed. Not to 2025, to 2024. Yeah. Okay. Dune Mission two. Impossible got pushed to 2025. Yeah. Well, Mission whatever Impossible, whatever the movie, whatever, whatever the movie's called. Mission Impossible know. still waiting on Dead Reckoning Part Two. Dead Reckoning Part Seven. We should just call it Mission Impossible again. Uh, yeah. Accomplished. Yeah, Mission Accomplished. <laughs> which movie in the Mission Impossible side mission? Which movie in the Mission Impossible movies does Tom Cruise's character Ethan Hunt actually say Mission Accomplished? I think the first one. Incorrect. Oh, okay. He does say it in a movie. The one and they make a John, joke about the, it at the end. The, the John Woo one? Yeah, they nope. make a joke. Was it the third? Fourth. Fourth, Ghost, correct. Ghost, Ghost Protocol. Yeah. yeah. The one that everybody hates. Yeah. <laughs> was it the uh, third or second one? Was it right? Everybody, like, hates, like, everybody hates the second one, yeah. He says mission accomplished, and then he Ving Rhames jokes about it at the end. Of the, 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 oh, that the old, that, oh, that Ving Rhames. He's you so, said mission accomplished? <laughs> yeah, I kind of did. Oh, I know. Yeah, I kind of did. He's got the meats. Most anticipated film for DJ in 2024. Joker Dune, 2, Dune 2, Dune 2, Dune 2, Dune 2. Furiosa. Dune 2. You want Dune 2? If he says Joker Dune 2, I'm quitting this part. <laughs> yeah, if he says Joker 2, I'm... I'm. What did uh, Mad Dog Russo say the other day? If, uh, I'm retiring. Uh, he's retiring. <laughs> I'm retiring. <laughs> I'm not going right. to go to my son's basketball game. <laughs> Fuck basketball. Anyway, uh, Matthew has loaded his torpedo. Yeah, I've he loaded. Fire. Cocked. Ready to rock, and he's absolutely <laughs> hit it! He's got a hit. He's got a hit. He's got a hit. Doing two yeah. by a nose. I, oh man, that's I a was so no- a yeah, lot of noses. Because I don't know what's going. I, I don't. I need more information on. You don't know Furiosa. enough about Furious. I need don't more know. information. Beecher needs the information. You know what you're getting in Dune too. You know what you're gonna get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dune you know what? You know what? You're I saw. Getting. I seen it. I seen it. You seen it. You, you, yeah, you're gonna get more of part one only in part two. He, he, Timothy Chalamet not miscast in that. <laughs> He's perfect in that movie. He's very wayfish. Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. Can't wait for him to be in there. He's gonna probably fucking eat that scenery. Oh, he's gonna. That movie's gonna. And I, I didn't. I didn't even really care about the first Dune movie, but then I watched it. I was like, oh, this is actually really good. It's good. I, I had low ex. I thought they could never. It was like one of those things. Was like they, you can't make that movie. Yeah. Then I watched. And guess I like, what, people? I the watched son of it a bitch did it. <laughs> I didn't even watch it in a theater. You rat bastard! Son of a bitch! Denny Villeneuve's coming to you. Hey, there's a knock on your door, Matthew. That's Denny Villeneuve. Yeah. Done. He's like suck the blue. What, like, what, what, is what, he what, French or Spanish? Spanish? I think he's Spanish. <laughs> I think he's French. Is he? I don't know. Is he? <laughs> I don't know. Denny. Denny. Hey, Denny. The third time we mentioned him in this fucking podcast. He's in like three sketches. (laughs) This has been Simplistic Submarine. A game where quality takes a dive. I think we're getting it all wrong. I think he's French.
I, okay. <laughs> I don't know what he is. You, uh, you, He's pretty good. You give, give everybody your yeah. information. He's one I of those stinky ones. He's <laughs> wow. That's racist to the French. No, it's not. It's it's, it's more of a stereotype. Than else. <laughs> but it's not, it can't be a stereotype if it's true. Yeah, have you smelt him? I smelt it. I smelted him. I smelt, <laughs> Yo, he's born in Canada, bro. Oh, yeah. So he's like French Canadian, though, probably. He's like, uh, uh, he's probably from Quebec. Quebec? Yeah. Quebec. Wow. Dilly Villeneuve OCCQRCA? Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? That's not even a word. <laughs> <laughs> Give everybody information. I'm, I'm looking up Denny Villeneuve. De- Denny, Denny Villeneuve.net is where you could find our podcast. <laughs> And a brother where, named Martin. And where you could go watch uh, Dude He's War, from Gentilly, TV. Quebec. You were correct. I sir. told you. It's Quebec. Oh, Quebec. Let's go. Quebec. The French. Which side. Die Hard movie takes place in Quebec? Side mission. Oh, uh, part three. There Shoot. we go. Very good. Yeah. With a vengeance. <laughs> you know what? I love part three, but I don't like the end of part three. Yeah. And it could have been worse. You saw the alternate ending of part three? Oh, have I? I don't think so. Yeah, I have. You, I know Justin. Yeah, maybe that. I have. Maybe <laughs> yeah. I have. I think Justin's the one that showed it to me. I was like, "What the fuck yeah. is this?" <laughs> yeah, I didn't it's like an that ending. Part. It's, it's weird, a... man. It's weird. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Hey, you can check all that cool stuff out on Simplistic Dot Reviews because that's where all all the stuff is. All right, the Justin? stuff. That's where all the stuff is. All and the maybe in twenty twenty four, you'll forget. find more stuff there. This all month the... we have a commentary coming up from. Our favorite back? director. Is he back? November. Is he back? He's making. <laughs> he's making them. He's making more movies, <laughs> but we still haven't caught up yet. Captain no, Sir, a... you mean Sir Sir Knighted <sighs> Captain Neil? Is he? Is he back? The Captain Antoniel. The Captain Antoniel. I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, is, yeah. is he, you know exactly who I mean. Captain ta- Antoniel. Ta- Does he rhyme with ne- mean? Are you talking Does about his Ernest... last name? Rhyme with mean. <laughs> Yeah, are you talking about Ernest Borgnine? No, you. he's dead. Oh. Perhaps <laughs> you are correct. A exquisite director who only writes and stars in his movies. The only. best director. The, the best wine director. Directors. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Yes. It has begun. Oh, yeah. Can't wait. I'm, Can't I'm wait. excited. Can't wait. Get it's your always, last one we watched. Do you remember? Oh, fuck. It was the uh, one where he was like, uh, it, it was the, the one in Vegas. It was like he was in Las Vegas. The Vegas, Vegas right? With the, yeah, the yeah. Vegas one. Yeah. Wasn't there, was, didn't he have like a laptop and a trunk or some shit? He did. And there was, um, oh, he that was, was first. One. Wasn't it clones? Neil, We're talking about Neil Breen, by the Neil way. Breen. Sir Alec Neil Breen. I like to call yeah. him. Yeah. Neil Pert. No, he's not Neil Pert. Neil Pert's dead. Neil Pert is dead. Yeah, he's dead as hell. He's drumming up and he's drumming down. It was pass through. Was it pass through? Pass over. No, I'm here now. No, it was double down. Was double, was double down. Double down. That's what it was. Double down, and there, there yes, wasn't there like was. cloning. There was like cloning in it or something. Oh, no, he was dragging the body out to the desert to bury it. He was in the it, desert. Right? He had a laptop. Uh, it was weird, man. Yeah, he was doing computer stuff on the laptop. <laughs> It's weird, man. Yes, he'll bring all from his, uh, yeah, from his, I think uh, the next one we lab. got up is Fateful Findings. Ooh, I love a good alliterative that sounds, title. That, Justin, I, dare I say, is that a romance? It sounds like a porn. Well, it's about a boy who develops <laughs> amazing mystical powers and uses um, them as an adult to hack okay. The government. Oh, database. of Whoa. course, man. Just like real life. What was the Fucking government? Police thing, state, huh? man. You gotta get in there. I know. Neil Breen's the head of the game. Oh, always goes, been. We need to pump him out because we're starting to catch up and we're. Yeah, gonna man. Run Neil, out of come movies. on. What are you doing, bro? I know. What's he doing? Well, he's probably writing. It's like George R. R. Martin. You gotta make all these movies before you're dead. Is on, Neil man. Breen? A, <laughs> he had a movie come out this year. SAG member? Is he part of the SAG? Oh, you gotta be. Is he a SAG member? I don't think so. Yeah. Dude, so? if I was if I was at watching the actor strike and I saw Neil Breen, he would never scat. Dude, that would be fantastic. He'd get a crowd, bro. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Neil Breen would be the only one working right now. Wouldn't like, it be awesome know. if fucking uh, what's his name, Brian Cranston, brought up when he was doing a speech, Neil Breen, and Neil Breen started talking to the actors? That would be amazing. <laughs> that would be amazing. I know. It would be. We got four <laughs> years of of movies left, so he better hurry up. Four hurry years. up! Don't die! Don't die! No, he's. <sighs> 
they've cloned Neil Breen. <laughs> there's a, there's, nine there's, Neil a, lot, there's a lot of them. He's like a scroll. He's like a secret invasion. Oh, God, don't do it. He wouldn't be a scroll, would he? He wouldn't be. Oh, Jesus Christ. As long as he's wearing a cool a tank top like I am. But Matthew, I'll pay you five, five bucks black. to watch Secret Invasion. Five bucks? Yeah. I'll do it for free. <laughs> hey, DJ, I'll give you five dollars to watch Barbie. Nah, I'm out. <laughs> Not even five bucks? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. How about uh hmm, what would you want? What does DJ want? No. What's DJ's price? <laughs> Margot Robbie. <laughs> give me Margot Robbie. You, I mean. you, you get you get you get five dollars worth of Margot Robbie. I'll take five dollars worth of Margot Robbie. She's not for sale. Take five cents worth of Margot Robbie. How, long, how, about, five do- how about five minutes alone with Jada Pinkett? <sighs> Jesus. Give me a gun. <laughs> so I can put it in my own mouth. <laughs> I love I love, I love, love hearing I'll, about I'll self-cuck myself. <laughs> I love hearing the exploits of Jada Pinkett. She's my baby. She, she makes Amber Heard look good. Is she shit on a bed? <laughs> Thanks for stuffing your ears with another edition of the Simplistic Reviews Podcast. Not much of a main course, but chock full of tasty sides. And like the pilgrims who celebrated Thanksgiving centuries ago, we have likely infected you with disease and taken advantage of your hospitality for our own personal gain. This podcast is a proud member of the Lamb Podcasting Network. Find the network at largeassmovieblogs.com.